<clears throat> Good morning, everybody. How is everyone doing? Welcome back to the stream. Sorry there was no stream yesterday. Sorry I couldn't be there yesterday. I was just way too tired. I was just way too tired. Rough life, thank you for the early 10 months. Esher Moppy, thank you for the 18 months. One and a half years, dude. It's been a long time. Thank you for the continued support. I appreciate you guys. All right, welcome back. Welcome back. I can't wait for the 1225. Look, it's been a while, dude. It's been a while, okay? Don't jinx it. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. It's been a long time since that has happened, okay? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good overall, but I would be lying if uh, if I if it if it didn't say if I was I'm a little bit stressed because worlds are very very close. You know, <laughs> Crawlash. Think about the nine months. It's like uh, you know, it's like a it's a good kind of stress though. You know what I mean? Like there's like bad kind of stress and and good kind of stress, and it's like you know. Playing in the World Championship and preparing for it is definitely like, uh, it's more like exciting than actual stress, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, no, I'm starting to get, like, day by day, I'm getting more and more excited. And uh, we are getting closer and closer to, like, finalizing our decks and everything. Uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, Memorex, think about the six months. When are you flying? Uh, my flight is on Wednesday morning though my flight is wednesday morning so i think the next uh the next the last stream is gonna be monday or tuesday i don't know exactly yet um yeah the streaming plan for this week and next week is gonna be a little bit off i'm sorry for that but um you know i mean I, i'm sure you can understand uh we're gonna be like this week okay so uh the situation is the following the situation is the following. Uh, we are... We have to submit our decks. We have to submit our decks on uh, Monday morning. 5 a.m., I think. I don't know exactly the time, but it's like the, the end of this week, we have to submit our decks. Uh, so I we're going to be... I assume we're going to be there... Uh, on Sunday, like, uh, as the team and, like, build our decks together until, like, the middle of the night. So I'm not sure how fit I'm gonna be on Monday, um, next week. Uh, I'm not sure how fit I'm gonna be, um, on Monday. But I will try to stream on Monday, right? I'll, I'll try to stream on Monday. Tuesday, I definitely plan on streaming because, I mean, we have, we've already submitted decks at that point, so there's no real point, you know, in, in like, we, we, you know, I, I have time uh, on, on Tuesday. So I'm going to be streaming on Tuesday. Uh, and then Wednesday, I can't, of course, because I'm leaving. So that's next week. This week, I'm definitely streaming today. I'm definitely streaming tomorrow. Depending on how well our preparation is going, I might skip Thursday. I might skip Thursday for some master duel prep with the with the team. Uh, we'll see. But if 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 I feel like we're doing fine, then I'll just be live on Thursday, anyways. Um. So yeah, that's the situation. Uh, DJW, thank you for the seven months. Appreciate the early support, guys. Thank you. Even started a hype train. We don't always have these. Thank you. <laughs> Stream on negative delay. What do you mean? Oh, because you said. Uh... Why do I see the chat on stream before I actually see it in chat? What kind of sorcery is this? This might be because you're watching on mobile. Uh, or, no, I don't know why that is, actually. I don't know why that is. <laughs> your, your chat might be lagging. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know why your chat is lagging. Do we know if Konami is going to use separate channels to stream Master Duel compared to Paper for the World Championship? Uh, I don't know. How has it been? I assume they're going to do it the same way as always. How has it been in the past? Uh, if you've watched Regular Worlds and Duel Links Worlds, was it on the same channel or was it on different channels? Because uh, I, 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 did, I don't know because I haven't watched Worlds in a while for reasons. It was the same channel. Okay, I think that's weird, but okay, I guess, you know, fine. <laughs> Why not? Because I, I was playing. <laughs> it, was a, it was a subtle flex. 
and now you've called me out. Uh, the, uh, the thing is, I don't really know why they do it on the same channel, because, like, the audiences feel like they're so different. But maybe, maybe the reason is, uh, maybe the reason is that they want to, like, boost the audience for like duel links by putting it onto the main chat mainstream right it's like more people are not going to watch duel links as much i feel like well yeah i do not appreciate your reply to my see how do i say this but i am i am utter, i am genuinely confused about this this twitter thing right i what what is this is it still called twitter or are they changing the name as well Is it is it still Twitter or not? A uh, exit. It's called X, but it still says twitter.com. Look. <laughs> the thing is generally Generally, I have no problem with like a brand changing their name or whatever. I have no issue with that. I don't I don't really care. I think for Twitter specifically, it feels weird because like the word, it's not just Twitter the the brand name. It's also like people are using the word like tweet as like a a, a verb, right? There's a verb that's coming from the the brand name so like changing the brand name it it seems like a super dumb thing to me but i that's just me like what am i going to call it now i'm about i'm not about to tweet something what am i doing i'm about to exceed something what well, what is that i'm i'm exceeding and i'm re-exceeding <laughs> Not gonna lie, I voted for the Asian teams. You are lying. You can't vote yet. You can't vote yet. Right? Uh, the logo, I don't really care about. Generally, the logo, I don't care about. Like, I don't, I don't care. I don't care about the logo. I really do not. I don't think it's great. I don't think it's great, but it's, uh, it's, it's whatever. Do you think your tournament gave you some positive information for actual worlds? Uh, I mean, a little bit, but nothing. I mean, there was nothing that I didn't, that we didn't expect, basically. Uh, like, we were just, like, looking to maybe confirm some theories that we had in, like, a bigger picture, but there was nothing, there was nothing completely standing out that, uh, yeah. It's Unicode X. Wait, is it just Unicode X? Hold up. X Unicode. Uh, wait, no, it's not. Not, not, not. Ah, it's close. It's close. <laughs> The stuff is just wild to me. I don't know. I I I don't know if uh, I still don't know which which is stronger. Like, is Twitter so powerful that he that Elon can like do whatever and it won't die, or will he actually manage to kill it off? I don't know. I'm 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 only worried because I just got here, dude. I just got here in the in like the the content creator space and the like social media space, and Twitter is like the only one that I really use. Right? It's like the only one that I really use. So I don't want it to die. <laughs> I don't want it to die. I just got here and I only have this. <laughs> so can you not, can you just like not kill it, please? <laughs> Funny space guy is killing bird. Yeah, kind of. It's kind of what ha what's happening, right? <laughs> Hold up.
We need to... We need to start using appropriate terminology. The verb is no longer tweet, but to excrete. The website is no longer made up of tweets. Now it's excrement. Okay. I see. <laughs> Anyways. Enough. Enough. Uh, everyone follow me on X right now. Follow me on X and we are going to warm up now. No, the videos that you post on X are not called X videos. <laughs> no. All right, let's do some card guessing. No, they're not. Uh, this is some Albion. This is, this is something Albion, surely. It might be like Screams of the Branded or some shit. It's some branded stuff. Branded Bond. This is fusion weapon, I think. Yeah. Uh Fine. Okay. Well, what are these cards? No, you know what? No, 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 no. I don't accept that. No, no. We, we start over. We start over. <laughs> it doesn't even change anything. I still don't know the cards. Uh, this is a, this is a battle wasp, right? Which one is that? Pin? Pin. Uh, this looks familiar. But I don't know what it's called. Rainbow Veil. This is an ally of justice. Ally of justice. Um, Cyclone creator. There's so many. I think it might be Cyclone Creator. It is Cyclone Creator. I sure just went with my gut. This is something beam, I think. This one? Yeah. Oh, Yang Zing Path. Uh, this is Gishki. This one? No. I don't know. Cyclone. This is DDD something Wave King. Is it just Wave King Caesar? Of course it's not. Wave of this one. Uh, this is Performa Pal, Magispector, Toad. Yeah. This one I don't know. It's Ibli. I can't even tell what that is. Oh, it's terrifying trap hole thingy. No, wait. Terry, terrifying trap hole nightmare. Uh, here we have a Phantom Knight. I I keep mixing up Phantom Knights. I think this is cloak. Ancient cloak, right? Yeah. This looks like th time thief. Oh no, this is uh, is this blue drag? Is it one of the dragon summoners? Blue. Yeah. Uh, 
the hell is going on here? What is that? What the hell? Uh, this is Harpy's pet dragon, I think. Yeah. Uh, this... I do not... I've never seen this before. Blackwing, okay. It's a unicorn, but what kind of unicorn? Oh, it's a Dark Lord, okay. This looks familiar, but I don't know what that's called. Card Gartner. Bro! What are those cards? Oh, that I know that one. <laughs> I know that card. Some red hot stuff. Right? Tyrant Red Dragon. This is embarrassing. How do I have to skip like 10 cards in a row? What the hell is wrong today? Is my brain just melted? Or am I just unlucky? Because like, oh, this one I, I think I know. Is this Red Gardener? No, it's not. Red Vase or something? I thought it was Red Gardener. But I think it's just a spell and trap that has Red Gardener on it. King Scarlet. Okay. Bro, I simply don't know these cards. I've never seen these before. Please be Najasho. Oh, Lago Sucho. Oh, man. Come on. Weslo? Wait, it's not called Westlo? E Voltile. Oh, Westlo. Oh, that's the one. Okay. Uh, Huey Titsuro, thank you for the four months. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, this one I have seen, but I don't know what it's called. Ryu Okami. Runic Allure? Of course, it's the last one I typed. Always the last one. Actually, no, I didn't do the Esther. Uh, is this called Royal Prison? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Aitsu? No. Doitsu? Oh, come on! I don't even know what the other one is called. Which one is the, which one is the other? Razetsu? Suitsu. Suitsu? No, Soitsu. See, it's always the last guess. I never get, like, lucky on these. Never lucky, actually. Uh, this one is uh, an Insector weapon, right? Insector... Crossbow? Yeah. That is Burden of the Mighty. Mm. Oh, this is like mine uh, golem. Yeah. This is an arch fiend. There's a lot of cards called arch fiend. This thing.
This is Vivid Tail, I think. Please be. It might not be. No, it's not. I thought it was Vivid Tail, but it's not. S Force Chase. Uh, this might be Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare. I'm not sure. Oh, it is. Okay, good. Uh, I think this is a Morphtronic vacuum. -in. Yeah. High speed. Oh, rubber band shooter. Uh, this is life equalizer. This is Gravekeeper, but I don't recognize which... Oh, it's just Commandant. Commandant. Oh, it's a Sioux ship. Uh, does anyone know which Sioux ship that is? Because I have no idea. Oh, nice. This looks familiar. This is green baboon. No, yellow baboon. Yeah. Uh, Jordan, thank you for the eight months. Welcome back. Appreciate that. Uh, this is Exodus. Oh, Exod. That one. Well, I guess it's number 19. Freeze Adon. Uh, that is an evil hero. I want to say... Malicious Fiend? Yeah. This is like night and... Day. Is is it this one? Please be this one. Okay, nice. Uh oh, is this SP? Is this the SP thingy? Yeah, it's the the one that's the S oh that's gamma. <laughs> that is gamma if I've ever seen gamma. Oh! Aw. Which one is it? Delta. Oh man, Cyframe, Epsilon, oh my god, why can't it just be Gamma, dude? What is that? Is I think it's Octodic. Oh, it is Octodic, okay. Uh, this is another ally of justice, but this one, core destroyer, core destroyer, it's small cataster. This is book of lunar eclipse, I think. Yeah. This, uh, probably something pendulum, but uh, yeah, pendulum scale. Okay. Uh, this might be Dreadmaster. It is Dreadmaster. Okay. Uh, this is Influencer Dragon. No, Influencer Dragon. Yeah. Mm, is that Furious? It is. Nice. Oh, it's Elledge. I didn't need that zoom. Uh, Emmer's Blade. What do we have here? I don't know. No, I don't know. Power Angel Valkyria. 
Uh, this is, I think, Gravekeeper's Priestess. Yep. Oh, it's Heart Earth. Heart, Heart Earth. Is it this? No, uh, no, it's 92. C92. No, just 92. It is Heart Earth, yeah. Uh, this one, I don't know. Uh, oh, it's the Fire Flip Monster. The very old one. Oh, God, what is this called? Something uh, Reaper? It's not Spirit Reaper. It's Fire Reaper. No, it's not. Is it not? Rigorous. Reave. Oh, Reaver, not Reaper. Yeah, that's what it is. Mm. This looks like it's an Evil Eye Link monster. It is. Oh, no, it's an Evil Eye Trap card. Oh, Nimble Momonga. Uh, is this page flip? Yeah. Hey! 831? After we missed, like, there was like a solid two minutes or something where we did nothing. We kind of saved this. We kind of we kind of went crazy in the end. That was not bad. That was not bad. We kind of turned that one around. I felt I thought that was going to be way worse than that. Don't say wash. This is very this is solid. Considering Considering how bad we did in the beginning, I thought Hey, don't say wash. Oh, also as okay. You, you can say washed, but don't say okay gauge. Gage's PB is like 600. I will not let this slander uh, happen to me in my chat, okay? You cannot say okay gauge when I put up an 831 without, uh, with, 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 like, without guessing cards for like three minutes in the middle, okay? You, we, you, you can't, you, that, no, 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 uh-uh. Uh-uh. Simply not okay. Simply not okay. <laughs> Don't okay gauge me. Okay gauge to someone who plays card guesser is like the, the equivalent to like okay boomer someone because they're old. That's the equivalent for a card guesser player. Okay. Uh, so Skrelp said, good luck at the YG Ordal because I did not know this card even existed. So we need some brain power here, apparently. Well, okay, it's a level four dark monster. Rongo once again coming through. Uh, level four dark effect monster. Um, from it's not a warrior. It's not an X Y Z. It has relatively low attack, relatively high defense, and it is from earlier. No, it's from from. Uh, it's newer than twenty fifteen. Well, the thing is, it could be Alistair, but it's obviously not Alistair because, you know, Skrelp would know that card exists, but okay. Uh, it's not a spellcaster. It has 1,800 defense, and it's newer than 2017. Okay, let me check in on some archetypes with a lot of level 4 darks. Raid Raptors are all kind of old. Okay, but what about Black Wings? Uh, black wings. There's a lot of black wings. But nothing that matches, at least here. A rocket? Uh, there might be a rocket. Wait, recharger? No, it's more than a thousand attack. No, this is a level two. There's no rocket that fits. Onclus bar, no. 
is it is it a pack filler from New Age? I don't know what that means. Puffin. Laughin Puffin has seventeen hundred defense. Not Laughin Puffin. Edge Imp. Edge Imp chain is from twenty fifteen. That cannot be it. No, I did not know Edge Imp chain was this old. Time Thief? Time Thief? Um, not bad. This could have been it. This could have been it. This fit all the things, but it wasn't it. Unfortunate. Okay. So the attack points are like 1300 or 1400. And it's from this year or last year. Genta? Is Genta 1800 defense? Genta is also from the year 9999, according to Card Guesser. That's funny, but it's not Genta because the attack is too low. Motor Shell. You know what? That's probably it. That's probably it. But you looked that up. I know you looked it up. I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you, but you looked that up. Look at me right now and tell me you did not look that up. Tell me you knew Motor Shell was a card. Because I also did not. I also did not know that was a card. I have never seen this before. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can special summon an engine token in attack position. You can only use this effect of Motor Shell once per turn. Okay. Well. This card is insane. Um. No. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. All right. Well, that was that. Uh, Matil, thank you for the seven months. Welcome back. Appreciate the support, everybody. Thank you. Uh, all right. We did, it, we did get, once again, I just want to put that out there. You start with Rongo, even if you have to get to something completely absurd like Motor Shell. Four guesses. Four guesses. Never more than four. To be fair, we kind of cheated. We do not talk about that. We do not talk about it. We do not talk about it. We, we only needed four guesses. It was easy. It was easy. Rongo always wins. Rongo always wins. We stay winning. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, we have a few things today that we're going to do. Uh, we have a, we have something, we have a little something here, a little, uh, package from cart market, which I'm excited to open. This has been on my desk since Friday and I know what's in here. I know what's in here, but I wanted to open it on stream and I, uh, I, it was once you see what's in here, you're gonna know um, why it was so hard for me to wait for this. But we will, uh, we will do that. We will that open that up in a second, uh, and then after that, after that, we are just going to, um, we are just going to play some master duel ranked, uh, and also just discuss a little bit about different topics i have some react andy content prepared as well for today it's gonna be chill uh the 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 the, the streams this week and next week are gonna be more like uh relaxed streams because i i outside of stream i'm using most of my time currently with like testing for master dual worlds right and so like i hope you understand that i don't uh, that i'm not able to like prepare the most uh, the most like content and everything but like i we just have to like we just have to get through to the world championship like that so um yeah but why don't we just begin with opening uh with opening that cart market package uh when are you uh, are you going to open a box of duelist nexus uh i technically yes but i don't know if i'm going to be live I mean, next week, maybe. Yeah, it's probably going to be late, but we'll see. 
Um, yeah. When are you going to Japan? I'm flying next Wednesday morning. Yeah, next Wednesday morning is when I, when my flight goes. Yep. All right. Let me go. Where do I go? Let's go here. Oh, yeah. Look what happened yesterday. Unfortunate turn of events. An unfortunate turn of events has, has appeared yesterday. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, Farfa, thank you for the 15 months. Appreciate that. It happens. All right. We have... This is, okay, so this was supposed to be a welcome gift by Cart Market because you guys, I mean, you guys know that I am the brand ambassador for Cart Market in, in the Yu-Gi-Oh! section. And this, we, we began doing that, like, I, I don't know, it's like three months now, four months now. And this is my welcome gift. <laughs> so, uh, hey, thank you for the welcome gift. We're going to see what's in here. I'm excited for this. I know what's in here already, but I'm going to be, ex I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this. Hold up. A graded... Imagine if it's a cart market graded circular. Imagine that. Imagine that. Wouldn't that be phenomenal? Oh, let me see. Before I dox any addresses or something. <laughs> Can be read on stream. Okay. Oh, there's multiple things in here. Okay, hold up. <laughs> okay. This one says open first. Yeah. And we have sleeves as well. Okay. Hold up. Okay, this one says, can be read on stream. And this one says, open first. Oh my god, there's an ad going on. I did not want that. Okay, I'm going to wait for that. I'm going to wait for that to finish. That was not on purpose. Sorry. <laughs> All right. And the, the crossover, too. The crossover as well, freaking uh, sending the cart market sponsored stuff out in, in SmartGuard. Isn't that beautiful? All the sponsors like GigaChat Handshake. Phenomenal. <laughs> if you don't know what's in the SmartGuard, Circular Gamba. Okay. So... I mean, we can hold up because I know that I know some of the stuff that's in here, but it seems like they've added more. It seems like they've added more. So did they, is there a circular? Did they send me a circular? Did they send me a circular? Yes. No. <laughs> I'll give you 30 seconds um, to decide whether they sent me a circular or not. Hold up. Cart Market is messaging me. Don't show the letter. There are coupons. Okay. Uh, oh, I can read it on stream, but I can't show it. Okay, I see. <laughs> I get I get it. Okay, that was close. Um, <laughs> hold up. Okay, we're going to open. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to open first the one that says open first. That's what we're going to do. That seems like the smartest thing to do. Uh, I swear to God, if you put a circular in this. Look at that. Look at that. Crap. 
Who 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 guessed that? <laughs> I'm so happy to be reunited with these. Oh, with this one. All right. That that was a nice looking card. What's in the second one? Ooh. <laughs> It is technically, technically, if you, if you think about it, that is kind of circular. <laughs> that is kind of a circular in a weird way. But yeah, no, I knew about these, but that is, uh, I am finally reunited. I am finally reunited with, uh, with my ulti swap frogs that I... So dearly missed after uh, getting rid of them after like a couple years. So yeah, thank you for these. Thank, thank you a lot. And now, surely there's no circular in the... Uh, surely there's no circular in here, right? Cart Market, you would not... You would never put... You wouldn't do that, right? You would not do that. Because I genuinely... Besides, what, besides these, I have no idea... Uh, what's in here like i don't know what's in here i knew i was supposed to get these <laughs> i knew i was supposed to get these i have no idea what's in here i'm kind of I, it's probably circular probably like this one has circular this one has loci or something that's what i'm guessing that's what i'm guessing honestly Oh, no, it's not. So oh, that's sick. Okay, hold up. Look at that. I did not know about this. That's a nice surprise. It's not one sleeve. <laughs> no, it's not one. Yo, that's sick. That is insane. I don't know where they're from. No, I, don't, I, have, no, I have no idea. Uh, this is not 15, so I'm assuming this is also those. Yeah, this is just the rest. Yeah. Yo, those are nice. Those are nice. Insane. Okay, now let me... So, okay. This mysterious letter that says can be read on stream, but can't be shown on stream. Hold up. Let me see what that is. <clears throat> Let me make sure you can't see it. Dear Josh, it has been a few months now that you are our Yu-Gi-Oh! Ambassador and we could not have picked an anyone better. Easy clap. We wanted to thank you for everything. Welcome to you properly at Cart Market and congratulate you for going to Mass Dual Worlds. Thank you. It just took us a bit of time to find the right gift, but we, le we believe these should be just right. Oh, these, these hit exactly the right spot. We added a pack of our very own Dragon Shield Limited custom sleeves with our new mascot, Pablo. Ooh, okay. I am sure they can protect your new friends. Also, since chat is very important to us, we figured that for each gift you get, they should get something too. Feel free to give these away however you like. These are 20 euro vouchers each. P.S. I found some oversleeves from uh, Mana Moon lying around at home that might just fit in the theme. Cheers, Jonathan from Cart Market. Thank you so much, Jonathan. And uh, you heard it right, chat. You heard it right. There is not only something in this package for me. There is also something in it for you. Uh, I am counting one, two, three vouchers. I am counting three 20 euro vouchers that are meant to be given away to you guys right now. So let us do that. Uh, I also, I did not know about this. This is purely on cart market. I need to quickly set up a giveaway. Hold up. Mm, and then we're going to get these out to you guys. Uh, also, here are the, I didn't know this was like a, a mascot thingy, but this is Pablo. Welcome Pablo, white people happy. And yeah, I mean... Look, I, I could not be happier about these. I, I missed these dearly since I got rid of mine. So, okay, I'm going to set up the giveaway and then you guys can win three cart market vouchers in a second here. Hold up. Uh, 
Uh, we're using a keyword. Mods can enter. And the keyword is going to be card market one for the first one. Uh, you have a minute to type card market one in chat right now to win a potential 20 euro card market voucher that I am going to send over to whoever wins this. Once again, you only need to type it once. You only need to type it once, chat. Uh, no need to type it multiple times. One time is enough. And you will be entered and we'll draw the winner at 52. Uh, TT9911, thank you for the prime. And Nerdchick, thank you for the two months. Appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you. All right, once the clock... Once the clock strikes 52, we're going to draw the winner of the first 20 euro cart market voucher. And then we're going to repeat. We're going to repeat two times with, uh, with a keyword that you probably, you would never be able to guess uh, the, the keywords we're going to use for the second and the third run. You would never be able to guess it. I don't think anyone has a chance to guess what we're going to use for uh, for the second and third one. All right, it is 52. We're rolling it. And the winner of the first one, I'm just going to write that down somewhere. Uh, Axe Master 6666. Six, six. All right. Uh, all you need to do is drop me a message. Uh, drop me a message on Twitch or on my Discord server, and I will get the code to you. The thing is, they are written on here, so I have to type them. Uh, I have to type them. Uh, I'll do it after stream. I'll get it to you. But uh, yeah, you won a 20 euro cart market watcher. Congratulations. Uh, we shall use cart market two for the second one, as I'm sure uh, no one could have guessed. And you have like, let's, let's just leave it running for like about a minute. Okay, scroll. <laughs> Do not enable emote only mode for this room. Disable it right now. <laughs> God damn it, Skrull. <laughs> okay, that was funny. I will admit that was funny. I, th I thought that was funny. <laughs> All right, I'll draw the winner at 54 here. I'll draw the winner at 54. <laughs> Hello, chat. I'm in France. <laughs> How long was the flight, Coder? How long is it to fly it from... Uh, I'm assuming you flew from Canada to France. How long is that? All right, 54. Roll it. Speed fatal. Speed Fatal wins the second voucher. Pop, 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 pop. Written down. Noted. Noted. And now, uh, cart market three. Let's go. Uh, I'll draw the winner at 55. There we go. It is 55. 3, 2, 1. Roll it. Shadow 6863. Shadow 6863. Oh, a subscriber. Rigged AF, I see. <laughs> All right, GG, Shadow. 
GG Shadow. GG's everybody for winning 20 euro cart market vouchers. Uh <laughs> Don't say mad, dude. Why can't we just normalize? Why can't we normalize being happy for others when they get something nice? You know? And you just try again next time, dude. <laughs> no smile. Okay, well, I tried. I tried. All right, well, once again, I am happy for them, but it should have happened to me instead. I, I, okay, I see. <laughs> I see how it is. Once again, thank you to Cart Market for reuniting me with these absolute beauties. Um, thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy your 20 euro Cart Market vouchers chat. And uh, yeah, no, uh, all I can say is it's also been a pleasure for me to work with Cart Market. It's a very cool, uh, it's a very, it's been a very cool partnership because I've been, uh, I've been using them anyways, right? It's like, you know, it's like a platform approaches you for sponsoring that you're using anyways. So like, like you can recommend it and everything without even having to like, you know, go out of your way because it's like something that I genuinely use. So it's been great. And uh, thank you for the very, very nice welcome gift. So, yeah, okay. Uh, that was cool. That was cool. Appreciated that. <laughs> and the prediction result is no, they did not send me a circular. Isn't that crazy? There was no circular in this package. Who would have guessed that? I could not. I Actually, I thought when I saw there was more than three smart cards in there, I thought there was going to be a circular for sure. I thought there was going to be a circular for sure, but I prefer it this way. I, I rather have the frog sleeves than a circular again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chat. Let's get to some gaming, shall we? Let's get to some Yu-Gi-Oh! gaming. That sounds like something we should do on the stream, right? That, that sounds like something that should be done over here. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Okay. Uh, very quickly. World Championship 2023. Cheer for your champion campaign. The two-day Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2023 will be held from August 5th to August 6th. Which of the eight teams do you think will win the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel event? Vote for them and cheer them on. Simply vote and support the players to receive legacy tickets and other items. Furthermore, 250 winners from those who voted for the winning team will be selected via lottery draw and will receive 2,000 gems. Now, chat, if anyone here does not vote for your boy, I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> Yo, I know y'all want these. I know y'all want these legacy tickets, those juicy legacy tickets, surely. <laughs> Samuel, thank you for the eight months. Appreciate you. <laughs> Don't say, but I need the gems. Hello? What do you mean you need the gems? I'm trying my best over here, okay? I'm trying my best over here. <laughs> Hear me out. You either win worlds or I get legacy tickets. It's win-win. Oh, okay. No, I that's I accept that. I agree. Okay, no, that's fine. That's that's fair. Uh it, you're doing the old uh, I'm voting against my team in like sports bets thingy. So either my team wins and I'm happy, or I win money and I'm happy. It's kind of the it's kind of the the coping mechanism that like sport bets uh, addicts have. Like they go like Hey, but I'm betting against my team, so either way, I'll be happy. Okay, no, I, 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 I respect that. That's fine, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> hey, look, uh, I would vote for you, but 2,000 gems is 2,000 gems. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's rude. <laughs> uh, this, this starts in like two days, by the way. You can't vote yet. You cannot vote yet. It starts on July 27th is what it says here, so in like two days. <laughs> All right. Um, I have a confession to make, chat. I have a confession to make. 
Because, um, last time we left off, we were like Master 3 or something. And I, I played a little bit of Master Duel on the weekend in my free time, which is something I usually don't do as much. But I was just jamming some ranked games in between to try out some decks for worlds. Uh, and this happened. This happened. Just a, just a little bit. I just did a little bit of gaming. I just did a little bit of gaming. I'm sorry. Look, I... I yeah. <laughs> That's why I have trust issues. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I just needed to try some lists out and no one was available for testing right now. No one no one of the team was available and I just I just queued into some master duel just to see how some of the decks feel. Uh and I accident I accidentally just reached the highest rank. So instead, uh what we can do is now that we are in the highest rank, we can just play some stuff and we don't care if it's not ideal. We we don't we can't drop any more ranks. We don't care. <laughs> we can just play some cool stuff. So I thought uh I thought why don't we look in here? Because let me quickly check how many resources I have. Uh I have I have some I have some uh some thingies. Hold up. I have some I have some CP over here. Uh we could maybe build a deck with that. We will not play Gladiator Beasts. I wonder where that SR dust went. Okay, we don't talk about it. We Quantal, we actually don't talk about where my SR dust went, okay? We do not talk about the fact that I had like over a thousand SR dust. Last time we streamed. And uh, and how also, uh, like, I... Okay, chat. The, the thing is, there is... There is no correlation, okay? There is absolutely no correlation between the fact that I have, like, a thousand less SR CP and the fact that I have also like no new super rares and also no new royal rare super rares, okay? There is no correlation at all in Ba Sing Se uh, between the amount of SR dust that I've lost and the amount of royal rare super rares that I did not get, okay? But I will say I have a glossy Kit Kalos. It's very glossy. It's not... It's not very royally glossy, but it's like, it's glossy, right? <laughs> Anyways. It, it, it tries to be glossy, right? It tries to be glossy. It, it tries really hard, but it's not quite there. Ogre was taken. Thank you for the 12 months, a full year of support. Thank you. You're amazing. Thank you for that. Uh, I thought it would be boring if we reached Master 1 and we just played like Tournaments or Sprite or Labyrinth. I feel like that'd be boring. That'd be a boring thing to do. Uh, you know. How has your experience in Master 1 been so far for me? It's always a lot of non-games. Uh, I will say I haven't played that many games after I hit Master 1. Um, I, I will say, I think, I think that the Master 1 climb, like from Master 5 to Master 1, was decent in terms of the the level of the players it wasn't like it was like high competitive super strong opponents every round but i think people tried uh it was mostly meta decks uh not only tier limit but like it was a decent amount of meta stuff like it was a lot of like sprite tier uh dragon link labyrinth like a lot of those and people played at an at a decent level like not everyone was perfect of course but it it was a decent level it was a higher level then before they added the master rank, which is good, right? Before they added the master rank in like diamond, they, I think the gameplay was 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 uh, worse. So 
that's at least it did something, right? At least it did something. <laughs> How about Mathmec? I'm trying to think if it's worth it. I'm trying to think if it's worth it. Like what kind of sub number? Even like hypothetically. And don't even come at me saying five. Don't even come at me saying five. Oh, Sleep Chief, thank you for the gift sub. Uh, I need to tell you guys something about Sleep Chief later. I do need to tell you something about Sleep Chief as well, yeah. It's good that you reminded me, because I almost forgot. I'm not gonna lie, I, I almost forgot. <laughs> six. <laughs> no, the number is also not six. The number is also definitely not six. Okay. Um, hold up. Um, how about if we hit 15 out of 15? How much would that be? Like 27? That's not worth it. You know what? No. You know, I am. No, 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 no. I usually I'm not good at this type of stuff like streamers asking for subs and whatnot and making subs happen and shit like that. I'm not very good at that, but I'm a, I even I know even I know that with how much of a how much of a meme even with how much of a meme circular has become, I know that 27 subs in exchange for playing Mathmec is a complete wasted opportunity. Even I know that that is not a good deal for me. I like no, 27 is not the the number. 27 is not the number. There's no shot. There's no shot that's the number. There's no shot that's the number. <laughs> 3000 subs and he plays Mathmec at Worlds for at least one game. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no, seriously. I thought we could play some uh, of the new stuff that we haven't played yet. Namely, uh, I am down to try some trap tricks if people want to see that. I'm also down to play some uh, Dark World. The only problem is I think for trap tricks, I don't have enough ultra rare CP. Because there's like it takes like a billion ultra rares for trap tricks. Like, Trap Tricks is, like, the cheapest TCG deck, but, like, one of the most expensive Master Duel decks, which is kind of annoying. Right? Isn't Dark World also a lot of UR? I think it is. I think it is, but I think I have a lot of them already. For Dark World. For Trap Tricks, I don't. I don't. Hold up. Let me move over real quick. Uh, for Dark World... It's like, I have Graphas, I have two Rainbows, I only have one Gates, but that's about it. I have the Fusion, so like, I have a decent chunk of the Dark, Lord, Dark World cards, but I don't think I have much here. Yeah, look at this. You need three Seras, you need two Rafflesias, you need at least one or two of those, you probably play one of that at least, so it's like, I do not have that. I have 116 CP, and I don't want a Pepega credit today. I really don't want to. You guys don't understand how much Pepega credit I've already done this month for Master Duel. I, you don't, you genuinely don't understand that most Master Duel streams where I build a new deck, I actually lose money. Like, that, that does not feel nice. That does not feel nice. Also, I have this. I feel like that deserves playing Dark World at least once. I feel like that's, uh, I feel like that's, you know what? Let's try Dark World. Let's try Dark World. Why not? I ask. Why not? All right. Mm... Graph. It's called Garafa on the... <laughs> The deck is called Garafa. Yep, Garafa. Um, you only need two field spells anyways? Yeah, I think we can get away with that. We don't have to craft too much. We might need a second fusion. Why don't we just build it ourselves for once? Why don't we just build a Dark World deck ourselves? Okay, I think I would play two of this, two of this. Um, 
We play that. We play that. We play some amount of rainbows. I like rainbow a lot. We play at least one Grapha, but maybe more. Uh, in terms of the other spells, we have a fusion spell. We will play one copy of Archives. Mm. I don't think we play Dark World Dealings because of tier limits. That seems like a, that seems like asking to get high rolled. Card destruction. The thing is, the same is true for card destruction. If you card destruction a tier limit dualist, um, that's a problem. But maybe it's worth it. And then we probably play Danger Dark World, right? Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. The idea is probably that if we get max seed, we deck out our opponent, right? That has to be the plan. That simply has to be the plan, right? We have to do that. Why do you own two card destruction? Uh, because you cannot dismantle it. It's, or it's uh, from the legacy packs, um, unfortunately. That is a whole other question, you know? <laughs> Um, hold up. So we definitely play Nessie, Nessie, Nessie. We probably play the level eights because we make, like, we can make, uh, hear me out. We can make, what's it called? Uh, coach. Put me in coach. This dude. That seems sick. We can never pull that off. Um. The only thing is we can't hand loop people. That's fine, I think. Uh, anyways, more dangerous. Okay, let's let's play some Bigfoots and a Thunderbird. Maybe trade in is nice. Maybe trade in is not so nice. Maybe not. Maybe trade in isn't the vibe. Uh Hmm. Allure could be a thing. Brow is also something we could play one of. I don't think Brow is great right now, but Brow is fine, I guess. Uh Chupacabra is really good. Hold up. Chupacabra. Mothman. Help us make Dugaris, which is insane. Uh, we probably play Appaloosa. We probably play Skaldred. Uh, what is the name of the new level 8 dude that's like really good for Dark World? Not, not Zalamander, the, the new big fiend. Uh, the level 8 dude, you know which one I mean, Diabolica, that's the one. This one. If a fiend monster except Diabolica is sent to the grave by card effect, you can spare some this card from your grave. If this card is sent- you know what? I think we need Tradens. I think we need Tradens. I, I don't think there's a way around it. I think Zombie Vampire is cool. It's also an ultra rare! One, two, three, four... Ah, uh, but I want to play Dark World. Oh, muckraker. Oh yeah, muckraker is really good. Muckraker. We probably just play Max C as the only hand trap. Maybe we play no hand traps. Maybe it's all gas, no breaks. Just go first. Omega lol. Uh, we can also do stuff like curious. Um. Snow. Snow is possible. 
Avarice is possible. Zephyr Zephyros seems nice. Zephyros seems good. Mm, what about Lava Golem? We could play Lava Golem. You probably play more Chupacabras. No, not that one. Two Chupacabras. This card seems nice. It's kind of a shame it's once per turn. And only one of the effects. Otherwise, you could play more. The thing is, what is our end board going first? It's like... We just spam dangers and we make like Harbinger, Garafa, Appalooza... Dweller? IP? Uh, we can also play Zeus. Mm, Baguska. We can play Mascarena into Unicorn. And goddess? This? Zombie vampire isn't needed. So hear me out. My idea behind zombie vampire... My idea with Zombie Vampire is that if we get Max Seed, it takes off a lot of cards from their deck. Right? If we get Max Seed, it takes out like a lot of cards from their deck. You can cut a fusion for access code. Maybe you only need one. That also saves us some. The only bad thing about access code is that we only play Dark Links, so it's only gonna be one pop. Unless we make, like, Underworld Goddess or Staldred. We might need more stuff for Link Climbing. Maybe Cross Sheep is good? Cross Sheep, then Summon Grapha, then Revive? Kind of, kind of okay. The Nightmares seem good. We, we have, we'll have, we're gonna have to eliminate some stuff from this extra deck at some point. Like, Phoenix and Cerberus seem okay. Uh, Curious seems nice. Uh, with Curious, we could play something like Snow. Harbinger is weird because it doesn't detach. So, like, our Grapha or Rainbow would be, like, they would be uh, under it and you get, you can't get rid of them. Isn't Cerule still okay-ish for triggering secondary effects? Okay, uh... For Brow, we would draw two cards. For Snow, we would... We can revive a target a card from our opponent's graveyard. For Grapha, you can look at a card in your opponent's hand, and if it's a monster, you can summon it to your field. And for Rainbow, you also get to summon a level 4 or lower Dark World from deck or grave to either field. Ceruli plus Triple Tactics? Okay, that is, that is cool. Ceruli, oh, one Ceruli and Triple Tactics is, is funny. I like that. With Ceruli, we need Akashic. Mm -mm. Silva is banned. Yeah, Silva is banned. That's like the, the biggest thing. I can already do these. Hold up. We definitely need those. Give me a Royal Snow. Nope. Did not. Mm -mm. We 
we could go a little bit harder on the level 8 thingy with Ogopogo. Uh, but then we would probably want Danger Response Team. If this card's in the grave, discard a Danger Monster, place it on the bottom, draw a card. This list right now is kind of all in on going first. I don't know how much we can play for going second. We could play like Radeon or Lava Golem. We could play Radeon or Lava Golem. I don't hate that. I think you want a Lucent or a Gold for Rain Body Search. Ooh, that's a, that's a nice idea. Hold up. Uh, if we play it's a Ruli, it's probably Gold, but... Um, what does Lucent do? Hold up, Lucent. Where's Lucent? Uh, if it's discarded by an opponent's effect, you can special summon a fiend from your deck to either field. Oh no, that's better. Lucent is kind of, kind of nice. Um... Zalamander. Z Catalyzer is also good, yeah. Catalyzer is also a good card. Now, this would be a solid 40 cards. It has nothing for going second, but it's kind of all gas, no breaks anyways. It's kind of fun like that. We could just try it like that. You could special Edo to their field. Edo. Fiend. Special of Fiend from deck to either field. Um, the problem with... The problem with... Uh, how to obtain? What do you mean? Master pack. Okay. The problem with Edo setup is that you can only summon it to your opponent's field from the deck with Lucent. You can't sum if you draw it, which you're very likely to draw it. Right? Avarice? I don't hate Avarice. I don't hate Avarice, but it's kind of bricky. Okay, so this is right now, this is one, two, three, four, five, six ultras. We're not that far off. I can do three, almost four. Trade in kind of sus. We could go lower on trade in and play less dangerous. Then I can also afford it. Like if we do this, I can afford this. Depending on what we throw in here. Right? Now I can afford it. But I think we need more discarding now. More dangers? We could play the other dangers that are like better. We can play like... We can just replace it with like the little dangers. Like this. Actually, this is better than this, right? Dealings? I think dealings sucks. I think Dark World dealings are not good because, like, you, you play against, like, a uh, tier limit player and they will just make your turn their turn. Mm. Triple field spell. We could play a third field spell. May more eights for coach. Uh, I mean, yeah, now the coach king becomes very, very unrealistic, even though I think coach king is, like, a phenomenal card. Isn't one Grapha too few? Um, is it? You can search it. No? Sharon? Wait, Sharon? <laughs> Sharon doesn't discard. That's a problem. Sharon doesn't discard. So I don't know if that's a good idea. 
We could do a second grapher. I have it anyways. Okay, now we need to cut some stuff from this extra deck. I don't think we play these two. Uh, I The cross sheep. Okay. Dweller. Screw dweller. Screw axis code. Screw goddess. There we are. Wonderful. Uh, batch generate cards not owned. Everything basic finish AF. Cool. All right. Well. Curious has no good targets. Uh, we might not use Curious that much. We'll see. But sending Zephyros is pretty good in uh, Danger decks. We should... Okay, no. Actually... There's one card that I think we should use. If we try to deck out under Maxi, I think it's really good to have Zelantis. Because then we can like make Saryuja and then swap it into Zelantis, which is like more summons, right? Curious might still be necessary. We'll see. We just play. We just play, chat. The deck does not need to be perfect in the first iteration. Uh, change decks. Dark world. Uh, Ninja Nirmu, thank you for the prime. Appreciate you. We could play snow. We could play snow. We'll see. I have the slight... I have the slight fear that people will just surrender if we get going, so we will not have as much fun. Because it's Master 1 and people don't lose ranking. So, yeah. Uh, we're going second, but it's fine because our hand is a brick anyways, going first. So this was as planned. It's all according to plan. They will simply miss with uh, Kid Kalos. People still play tier at Master 1. I didn't pay attention. Were they already Master 1? Oh yeah, that's kind of cringe. You've literally already used Merly, but okay. And you hit both other names. That is very smart of you. Yeah, very. I sh you should have definitely done that. Yeah. Can always play viewers if everyone on ladder surrenders. True, yeah. If if we don't have a good experience on ladder, we can just play. We can just do viewer games. I don't mind it. You can also play Dark World in solo mode. Uh, you're not wrong, but I also don't know why I would do that. All right, we know about Saliac. We don't know about the other set, but it cannot be crime. High spirits back to hand. Okay. Give me a danger, and we are maybe in some sort of business. Or G Genta is fine. That's pretty good, actually.
Okay. They did not activate, um... <laughs> they did not activate... What's it called? Um... Maxi. Maybe that means they don't have it, or it means they are scared of being decked out. It's probably just this. I already have the fusion. So we can make the Grapha if I want to. We'll see. I do think Dark World going second is kind of fun. I can also just activate another gate. Except for, uh, instead of the fusion. Ooh, elf. Okay. Mill Havness, but don't have Rhino Heart, at least not on the field or grave. So if it's not Rhino Heart, if they don't have Rhino Heart in hand, I don't care too much about this. Because like, uh, I guess they can Kid Kolo send Rhino Heart. And if they have a tier in hand, they can make Kaleido Heart. Yeah, I guess that can work. I mean, it's fine. We still have a lot of gas left if they do that. TTT is live. We still have Gates, Grapha, the Fusion spell. During your main phase, discard in the grave. Discard, add this card to your hand, then discard a Dark World monster. Okay. What's the chance they have the crime? Uh, pretty much zero because that's in their graveyard. Pretty much zero because that is in the graveyard. Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna draw, honestly. We are all gas, no breaks. We are not taking your monster. We are drawing cards with talents. Let's go. Give me, give me that. Boom. Okay. Uh, ba -ba. I kind of want to activate another gate before using Jackalope. I don't want to discard my gate. I can just activate gate. And then activate Jackalope. I don't mind discarding any of these. Uh, yeah. Let's go Jackalope first. They might rule close that. Not the end of the world if they do. They do. Okay. What do they send? Their kid clothes? Probably. I hope they don't mill a shuffler. That'd be annoying. I hope they don't mill a shuffler. They did not. They milled Scream and that's it. Okay. Manageable. We are piece by piece playing through these disruptions. It, Dark World going second is actually quite fun, I think. Um. Now we just activate Gates. Banish Snow, Discard Rainbow, probably. Uh, yes. Now, you want to do this one, Chain Link 1. This one, Chain Link 2. Oh, called by is nasty as their last card here. Okay, we don't know. We didn't know about that. Oh, wait. No, we can dodge it. Because we can also banish from the grave. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yes, we will do that. Oh, yes, we will do that. Ooh, hello. Boom. 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 Suck. Bop. Uh, 
Uh, I will add Lucent. I will draw... I will discard Lucent. Draw two cards. Uh, chaining one Lucent. Chaining two Grapha. Does it pop any card? It does pop any card. We can just pop Soliac now. Uh, they will just chain Soliac on Grapha, and then I I'm still forced to like negate it. So I'll let's let's just target Elf. Let's get rid of Elf. Hmm. This is pretty cool. Dismantling his board like this. I mean, I, that is the thing. Dark World is actually quite fun going second. Going first, it's kind of dull to just like do the do everything. But like going second is actually a very fun deck, I think. I like Dark World a lot for going uh, second. Okay, so we have we have a Grapha here. I shall bounce Lucent. Bop. Uh, and then I will begin with Thunderbird. Oh, the Zephyros discard. Boom. We're having fun. Uh, let's allure this. Uh, what is the worst card here? It's probably Genta, because we cannot search another gate. Royal Genta, bye-bye. Um... Bigfoot. No Mothman effect. It does not matter if this is the correct play, because I have to do it. I simply have to do it. Put me in, coach! Chain Havness. Fine. Be my guest. Ha! Wait, why can't I Grapha? Oh, normal spell trap! I did not know that. I did not know it was that. I thought it could negate everything. They milled Kelbeck. Uh-oh. Oh, Agito! Another Grapha and Diabolica. This one was actually not bad for us. Do we still have our battle phase now? Or did I mess up? I, I forgot that it had that, to be honest. Do we have it? I'm not sure. Because the effect was still activated. I don't think we have it. That was my bad. I did not know that it had that. Okay, we have to clear the board then. Easier said than done, but... Wait, Grind Goignol? Uh, You can add a Fiend in the Grave to hand. Do I want that? Uh, No, I would rather Special Summon it. Shireen!
It's sad because I do think we would have won this if we had a battle phase. We could clear everything. We might even be able to game them if we if we did, but. Bro, casual chain link five, by the way, on my turn. All of all of them are their effects. Cool. Killer. I found two boxes together in one seal? No, I've never heard about that. Do we still have card destruction, by the way? Or is that in the grave? We might be able to deck them out? Probably not. Wait, maybe though? Because, like, we can zombie vampire and card destruction if we find it. Uh... See this. They have eight cards left now. And they use Garura. Wait, I negated Garura right now. Why did I do that? No, they had the shuffler in hand. No. Do I have another way? Should I have done this better? Could I have done this better? We have no way to get card destruction back. Wait, no, I have a shuffler too! I shuffle card destruction. Hold up! Hold up! I have their shuffler! I'm shuffling my card destruction! But then I die. Do you die from card destruction immediately? Yes. Okay, so I need to get my hand empty. They shoveled my Mothman, by the way. Okay, hold up. So. <laughs> Activate Mudora. Target card destruction, and one other card, then I make Saryuja. I don't think it matters which one, just a spell that I can set. Anything that I can set. Why did I target Nessie? Why did I target- why did I target three? I'm- um, I am- Uh...
Tschüss! That was great. That was phenomenal, dude. That was absolutely phenomenal. That was insane. That was the first game we played, dude. That was the first game we played. What the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <laughs> uh, I don't run Dweller, by the way. For anyone who said that we should have Dweller to stop the Shuffler, we, there's no Dweller in this list, but maybe there should be. Maybe there should be a Dweller. Bro, this deck is absurdly fun, dude. This deck is absurdly fun. Yeah, we should have made Appaloosa. We should have made Appaloosa before card destruction. Then it was e already game. That was... That was something. Okay. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Who needs a battle phase against Tierlement when you can just do that? <laughs> this deck has no shared cards. Okay, yeah, but like, I still don't think... I still don't think this is a deck for Worlds. But it is fun. Ooh, Tri Brigade. Okay. Ooh, Tri Brigade Sprite. That makes it harder to play through. Good God. That that makes it a lot harder to play through. Do you play Nimbles in this as well? What I'm abomination is that? Did they not use kit? Wait, no, they did, right? Activate Nerval at Ner add kit to hand. No, they did. And then they summoned kit, but they didn't use it. Yeah. Well, they can still elf it back and use it then. Uh, it's going to be tough to play through this, but if any deck can do it against Sprite going second, it's uh, it's Dark World. Dark World is good. We just don't have... Chat, there's one thing about this deck that... Uh, I Like, we don't have enough discarding outlets, I feel. Is Dark World good? Uh, I mean, we just, uh, we just decked out Tierlament in the first game we played it. That was fun. We, we card destruction them. <laughs> we card destruction them. They discarded a shuffler. Uh, and a zombie vampire revived their shuffler. And then they shuffled cards back into their deck to not be at zero cards. And then I shuffled. I used their shuffler to shuffle my card destruction into the deck. I drew it again and then I deck I card destruction them again. That's content, Farfa. That's content. That's how you make content, by the way. That sounds like YouTube right there. I did put one of those markers into in the thingy so that my editor knows it was a it was certainly a game of all time. What's going on here, by the way? What? Why is there a firefighting Daruma doll? 
And why did we just discard Valor and Cold by the Grave to revive a banished monster? And how on earth are they ever going to have enough room to activate this Tribigate Revolve? I have so many questions. Okay. This card gains 100 attack. Once per turn, target a spell and trap. When this card destroys by battle, it ha this has no effect. This has no effect on my... They have a carrot. They have a carrot right now. That's what they have. Okay. Playing around board breakers by not making a board. I see how it is. Ooh, this is tough. I kind of want both dangerous, but I also kind of want Lucent, but I also want these two. We do play two Graphas. We do play two Graphas. So we can just search another. We do play two, right? I put in a second one. That's, that's... Uh, Nolpter, thank you for the raid. Welcome. Uh, I will show you my rainbow. Please respond. Thank you. The thing is, currently, they can negate talents. Master one gameplay for y'all. Master one gameplay for y'all. I have yet to win a coin flip, by the way. Uh, but honestly, I'm not even that mad about it because Dark World is like significantly more fun going second than going first. Um, so yeah, whatever. They're playing 60 cards. That means they will open insane. Told you. Foxy Tune discard Rhino Heart for effect, by the way. But no effect, Rhino Heart. Okay. Prepare for Gamba. Chat, they're going to target the level 8. It's going to be Zombie Vampire. We're Gambaing right now. Imperm. Grass. Gogur Dance, Thunder Dragon Dark, and Gamma. Okay, that was not a very successful Gamma on their end. Uh, a Gamba on their end. Uh, Katsuraku, thank you for the Prime. Welcome to... Oh, actually, they have a lore. <laughs> it was actually quite good. <laughs> they have a lore. Uh, Colossus has, like, a, an effect on it that could certainly be a problem for us. And it's not the one... It's not the part where it can't be destroyed by battle. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm gonna tell you that much. I don't... I'm not gonna tell you which part of the effect it is, but it's... Not the one where it can't be destroyed by battle. There is Kelbeck. Uh, hey, give me back my snow. You still have not milled a tier lament. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Oh, the Royal Serenir, that's nice. Not banishing my Grapha, okay. 
Not banishing my Grapha or Rainbow, by the way. But they won't be punished for it. Sense Druis Worm, okay. I'm not a fan of the regained countering my allure. Kind of. Oh my god. I'm gonna make sure I'm hitting tier limits. I will not accept being unlucky. Or I will just send snow. Okay. You did not activate grass, by the way. And oh my god. We got a Kido. A Kido. Still no freaking uh still no freaking uh tier limit name. He might not be on tier. Oh yes, there's a there's a random rhino heart in there. Just cause they like the artwork. They are a huge fan of uh Visa Starfrost lore. Uh and that's why they decided to put one um I see, you got it. Yep, exactly. Okay, yeah. My bad then. My bad for assuming stuff. Yeah. My bad for making a very uninformed assumption. Chat, do you think it's reasonable for one uh, Zeamin to do all this, by the way? Just asking, out of sheer curiosity, like, one Zeamin should do this, should not. Yes? Okay. I, I was just wondering. I was curious. After all this, they're gonna summon Colossus under Cross Sheep to revive Rhino Heart. Is the are you serious? Now I have to watch Tier Limit plays after all that? Bro, they're playing a 60 card deck. They're not activating grass, and they're gonna be down to like 10 cards in the deck. Or not. Why are you doing that? Huh? Just revive Rhino Heart. Just revive Rhino Heart if you what? Oh man! Did they banish Rhino Heart for snow? No, they didn't. Why would you? <laughs> Damn it, dude! What? What are you doing? Oh my god, dude. I mean, without Colossus... I'm, I mean, I don't want to speak too soon because it's probably still a loss. But without Colossus, maybe we can deck them out after they did all that? Oh, oh my god. They are not done. They will never be done. Can I, ev can I have a turn? Just one. He will maxi you. One maxi's in the grave, two maxi in the grave. The, there's still a maxi. Sprite Elf. Diviner F. <laughs> God damn. Shuffler? Oh man. When will Elf be banned? Okay, okay, I agree with you. I agree with you, Elf should be banned, but I'm gonna tell you one thing right now, looking at this duel, your response should not be, when will Elf be banned, okay? That is not, you are right, Elf should be banned, but this is not the time, okay? This is not the time, because, you know, just not right now, not right now, uh, not, not appropriate. Not appropriate.
They played a 60 card deck. 60 card deck. They did not activate that grass looks greener. And they are down to 17 cards in their deck. They drew 5, so they started with 55 cards in their deck. And they were able to go through 38 of them. Did you just tribute a sprite sprint? Did you just tribute a sprite sprint? For a colossus? That is the most hate crime shit I've ever seen someone do with a sprite card. Good god. Well, my hand has dangers. Uh... <laughs> Who am I kidding? I've lost four coin flips in a row. I haven't won a single one. Can I can I play the game? I'm not I, f I don't feel like I'm asking for much. I just want to play the game. Oh, thank you. Oh. Uh, you want the list? Sure. I mean, it's exactly what you think it is. One Rhino Heart, by the way. It's just Punk Danger. Uh, it's just Punk Thunder Dragon Tier Limit with some Bistials in there. One Dark Ruler. One Imperm, one Chaos Space, one Talents. Story checks out. No Havness, one Merly, two Sharon. Story checks out. Oh, we can get first. We can go first. Surely that means we will put a card on the table and they will just surrender. Oh, 55 cards. We're not decking that out if they have maxi. I'm telling you that much. Why is there a response? Why is there a response? You can deck out 60 sometimes? Okay, I mean, 
I will accept the challenge, but... Uh... Uh, I want archive. All right, lean back, everybody. We're playing solitaire. Oh, I should have activated archives. I'm an idiot. Ooh, easy clap, rigged, scripted duel. Uh, hidden pants, thank you for five months. Loosened our grapha. Is Rainbow Search also not once per turn? Oh, but I have no more target. Okay, right. Do we still play coach trainer? We do play coach trainer. <laughs> the timer is killing me. <laughs> Burn. Burn! Burn! Uh... Uh 
We still don't have card destruction. Uh, we don't need Genta. We don't need all these red rainbows. We don't need... Wait, no. I, one after another? God damn. Okay. Uh, this and this. Um... <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, hold up. I'm not using that. Uh, only 18 cards in hand. Uh, loosened. Imperm is now dead. Special summon. Your side of the field. Twenty six cards in hand. Um, there it is. Uh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Talents is funny. Thirty in hand, okay. Oh no, I have to use it. I didn't want that! Oh shit. Mm, okay, I did not know I had to. Uh, okay. I can look at their hand. Two ashes. 
but no imperms. Okay, two ashes doesn't matter. Uh, 32 in hand. Easy. Not not even a problem. 60, 60 cards? You drop a maxi on Dark World? You're messing with the wrong deck, fool. <laughs> God damn. I've played like six decks with Dark World and I already had to put like two or three stream markers for like highlights. God damn, this deck is crazy. <laughs> that was nice. Okay, let's go. Nominal. <laughs> <laughs> Dark world, dude. <laughs> oh man, this thing is fun. All right, badge. Uh, Lena Hani, thank you for the uh, Prime. Kelbeck! <sighs> Bro, Havnis, Sharon, King of the Swamp, by the way. And Kelbeck. Goodness gracious. Oh, we milled a gate. That's bad. Milling gate is bad. Milling Genta isn't bad. Milling... I mean, rainbow is good. They don't have a shuffler yet, so there's some stuff here for us. Well, we'll see. What's the level 8 fiend thingy? Uh, this one's pretty good. It's a level 8, and it's if a fiend uh, is sent to the grave, you can summon it from grave or hand. Uh, and if it's sent to grave by a card effect, so like danger discards it, you can add a fiend in the grave back to your hand. You can only use one of the two effects, but it's pretty good for Dark World. What does Dark World do going first if you don't get max seed? Okay, so I currently have... We can make an Appaloosa with four materials. We can make an IP Mascarena. We can... Uh, we can make a Hope Harbinger. We can make uh, the Grapha Fusion for Negates. So it's got quite the sick end board. And we also play Ceruli, so we can like... Give them a dead body and like use like Grapha to look at cards from their hand and shit. Like if you don't get if you don't get max seed, it, it does also do quite a bit of stuff. Uh okay, what's the chain link here? One is Kikolos, two is Rhino, three is Celiac, four is Scream. Okay. And there's more. Sharon as well. Okay. Sharon before we mill, poggers. It can Edo lock. But I'm not a fan of that. No curious griffin lines, no. No no curious griffin lines right now. This is only the... We only threw this together before. Like, we've played like six games with it or five games with it. Uh, they... Okay, they milled Heartbeat, which gets them back Saliac. No, they literally could not have... This could have not gone better unless they milled, like, Shufflers. Their hand is completely insane. They're going to have all three trap cards if they want to. If they play all three trap cards, they can get all three trap cards and still make an insane board, including Grafa. It's completely busted. I don't think we can beat this. I do not think we can beat this. Will Worlds be streamed on Twitch? I assume so, yeah. I, I mean, I can't promise to you, but I, I assume so, yeah. 
Normal Denko. Eh, normal Denko and we can do it through. Uh, Jay Cuthbert, thank you for the 11 months. Almost a full year of support. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Worlds is even live on Japanese live television. Is it? Really? I, di I didn't know that. That's cool. What do you think of this deck in the TCG? Um, it's, it's not bad in the TCG. It's just got current... It's got a lot of problems currently, which is... Um, Droll and Lockbird is relatively popular. Shifter is relatively popular. Uh, Kashtira is also... I, I, I don't know if you've heard of Kashtira, but that deck's a thing. And uh, on top of all that, best of three is not kind for Dark World because, like, you know, people will side deck those cards if they don't main deck them already. So, yeah. Ah, yes! Tier Limits, my favorite set four pass deck. Cool. Cool. Phenomenal. Uh... All right. Well. Max, see me. And then I have a win con. Even then, probably not, but... We don't tell him that. Wait, what do we have? Activate effect. Oh, a, a, a session. Oh. Uh, all right. Well, mm, let's get rid of the duplicate Nessie. Um, okay. Gates. I am boosting their Grapha. Unfortunate turn of events. Well. Mm, we'll banish this. Ashes the Gates. Interesting choice, but okay. Genta will still return. And then, uh, once Genta hits the field, we have to understand that now it's no longer our main phase one. Now is where their main phase three begins. So now we just lean back and we wait for a bit because now is not our time to play the game. Now is their, you know, their next main phase. Yep. Sharon Kelbeck story checks out. All right, chat. How is life? How is life? Everyone doing great? How is school? How is work? What's up? How are we doing? Oh, there's a shuffler. Wonderful. I love when they mill shufflers. react to some memes while waiting i mean that's what we're doing right we're reacting to the absolute meme that the master dual devs th think that this is the right way to address tier limits right is to turn it into this deck this is like this is how according to the master dual devs tier limits should look after being addressed on like two or three ban lists back to back that is the meme we're reacting to right now Oh, four ban lists even. All right. Four ban lists. Ooh, sweet brow this card. All right, sign me up. Okay. 
Okay, that's enough Gentas game. That's enough Gentas. I don't need any more. Do I have a danger in the graveyard? I do. Don't worry, I have the feeling that you will not draw another Genta. You might be right about that. I'm gonna be honest, you might be onto something. It's funny that I can do all this, even though it's probably not winning me the game, or like, there's like a 2% chance this is winning me the game, but like, it's just hilarious to me that I can do all that, even though they're like sitting there with like a billion cards and interruptions, they have like, special summon negate, omni negate, 4 back row, and they just like, they don't need to do shit because their deck is so busted. Um... Make the zombie vampire. Why not? Let's let's mill the tier limit player a little bit more. I don't play goddess anymore, otherwise I could have made it here, even though it would not have been good, but not meta noise! Oh, that's bad, because it also puts my two rainbows under it. If you resolve Zelantis, you just win. Uh, wait, why do I win if I resolve Zelantis? All right, we have baited one. Of their interruptions. Isn't that phenomenal, chat? We've baited one. We're getting there. Oh, now, okay. That is literally racist towards Jackalope. You've, uh, you've allowed me all those dangers, and now Jackalope comes forward, and you're like, no, that one is too much. Also, how do you know that that's my last one? You have just disabled your crime and your dark world fusion. That's cool. I think they're out of, uh, I think they're out of time. I think that's why they're not doing anything, but I don't know if I can capitalize on it. I don't think I can really capitalize on it. There's nothing I can really do. Hmm. 
Mm, summon a snow. Oh no, I should have done Chupacabra. Oh no, they're not out of time. Oh, they are! <laughs> you tried negating my muckraker. <laughs> I knew you were on. <laughs> I knew. I knew what that meant. I knew why you didn't have a response window anymore. You toggled off, you little rascal, because you took a little bit too much time for your Tierleman combos. Ah. I see how it be. I see how it be. You solitaired a little bit too much there. <laughs> and that's another highlight mark. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Dark World is crazy. <laughs> oh man, phenomenal. What a good idea to play Dark World. What a good idea to play Dark World. Huh? What a good day today. <laughs> Plus channel is eating phenomenally today. Oh, it's a 50 card deck. That's not even a challenge if we get max seed. 50? That's easy material. Oh, man. All right, show me what you mill. Show me what it is that we're dealing with. Three spells. They milled nothing except the freaking endless engine Argyro system. They milled nothing. Keck W. They have a theory on for the Lily though. That's annoying, but okay. The Tyrion Tirlaments, I see. It is not actually a cringe Tirlament deck. It is at least, at least, it's doing some sort of experimentation, you know? It's, uh, we'll accept it. We'll accept it. What is that? A sprint angle? My favorite Tirlament card. I love that for them. All right. Well, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be an Omni negate and a Rule Colos at the very minimum. There's gonna be a Regulus negate and a Rule Colos, and then whatever else they have. They milled two Super Poly, so it's not too likely that they have another one. They milled one called by, so also not too likely to have another one. But we'll see. Um, this is doable, I want to say, unless they have some crazy extender going on. Which I don't know what it would be. Maybe like a, a Sharon could like, you know, if they if they have Sharon, you might play it for another like a billion minutes, but Argyro system. Okay, adds back a Colosseum. No, adds back the Argyro system. Okay. Sets one. Okay. Okay. Snack. Uh, let us begin with the snack, I believe. Mm, Moni Thaker, thank you for the kind words and the subscription. Appreciate you. Thank you. Do that. Snack F. Please Regulus negate me. I dare you. Regulus negate me. No. Okay. I'm just going to discard the best possible discard in my hand then if you don't mind. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. Okay, another snow. All right, I'm gonna help. I'm gonna need some help with these. Um... Just 
Just discard a snow for me, Nessie, would you? Okay. Well. Uh, might be a Thunderbird angle, honestly, to pop that face down that I don't know what it is. If we do happen to discard it, it could also be a Chupacabra angle. I'm kind of feeling the Thunderbird more. Kind of vibing more with the Thunderbird. We have to start with Nessie, though, because that one is the most risky one. You want to use the... You want to use the ones that you are the most afraid of discarding first, by the way. This is like, you have to be a Giga Chad when playing this deck. You just have to use the worst ones that you are the most afraid of first because you have the most card in hand at that point. You can't afford to be a non uh, Giga Chad when you play this deck. It's not something you can do. Okay, Regulus negates a snow ad. Interesting. I, when I have two of the same one, I like using that, because if I use Thunderbird there, it's more likely to not hit a Jackalope, and then I'm there with two Jackalopes and four cards, and then it's, like, le even worse. Mm, what do I summon? It's in defense. Let's summon a level four. That's a Mothman. Jackalope again. Easy clap. Ooh. Aha, we made it imperm. That's good. That's very good. Mm, I can just take rule colos. I can take rule colos. Uh I can also take the Regulus, then I have a... Hmm... If I take Regulus, I do have an Omni Negate, right? Because it says you can only use each effect once per turn, so I haven't done it yet, so I can take it. Hmm... But... You know what? I think... We could also draw. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Drawing two also seems... Uh... Drawing two is better. Boom. They don't have a hand trap. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, nice cards have been drawn. Mm. I was going to say we need to pitch snow because we want to find Genta, but never mind. Uh, we can just grab archives then. Bop. Hello. Banish Genta. Pitch this. Draw. We shall do. Chain link one Genta. Chain link two this. Chain link three. Yeah. One. Two. And three. Uh, I want Grapha right now. Pitch that. Draw two. Summon Genta. Hola, Genta. This pops... Mm, yeah, sure. Uh, 
that. That. Beep, boop, pop, yep. Shuffle some of those Gentas back into the deck, I think. Whee! Uh, let's keep the royal one. Even though, do we need, do we keep any Genta? No, we don't. Uh, Mothman. You still haven't used Rule Colors. Maybe it's about time. But, okay, then not. Don't do it. Don't just, don't do it. Uh, I, what do I want even? Probably that. Chupa. Ooh, Ceruli. They might negate Ceruli because they might be scared of that. I'd be scared of that. They need that, okay. Mm, all right, do Gares. They are not living this turn, by the way, in case anyone was wondering. Uh, if I can do it in 88 seconds, they are not living this turn. Uh... I do kind of need to get rid of the Colosseum if I want to kill stuff by battle. Ooh, card destruction. Oh my god, card destruction. Um, I don't really need card destruction. Yep, exactly. Thank you. I unicorn the Colosseum. No, the rule colors, and then I try to. Do I still play the Axis Code? No. Mm. Reveal this card and a fiend. Uh oh. This is game, but it's not close enough to me. Oh, come on. All right, well. Easy. Oh. 
Would you recommend to invest in this deck? Uh, that depends on your motivation. Uh, I think the deck is very fun. I think at a serious competitive level, I don't think I would play it like at tournaments and stuff, but it is very fun. And it is good enough for ranked, I believe. Like if, if that's all you need it for, just play some rank with it, then uh, yeah, you can, you can do that. Ooh, card destruction in my hand. Hello. Well, okay, Kashira is coming. That is true. Yeah, yeah, that might be a consideration. <laughs> Ooh, Maximi. No maxi, okay. Uh, we could just rip the card destruction right here. I'm gonna be honest with you. We could just rip the card destruction, but then... If they draw into maxi, we are in trouble. But I will just do it. Then we just have to summon 30 times, you know? Oh, they have Ash. Okay, well, anyways. That's fine. We just need to do some dangerous magic now. We need to perform some dangerous magic tricks. Uh, hold up. So... Mothman first, I think. Alright, this card's Lucent. That's fine. Another Genta can give us another... Okay, well... Uh, RSQ3, thank you for the four months. Appreciate that. Welcome back. I don't know if I'd ever Ash card destruction if I haven't drawn Max C. Well, I mean, yeah, it depends on your deck. Like, if they were playing tier, I guess we can check. Um, They were not playing tier. They were only playing two Max C, though. Uh, but they could have drawn into, like, Baldrake. Druidsworm, Serenir, Magnum. No, nah, I don't think I... I mean, but the thing is, like... Your opponent is on Dark World. They activate card destruction with four cards in hand. That's, like, at least plus two or plus three. So, also not, you know... Man, this deck keeps winning. Unfortunately, we have to do a short break from all the winning. Because I have received food and it's still warm. And that's an opportunity. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to waste an opportunity like that. Of eating my food warm for once. So we're gonna have to react to some. We we it's some it's react Andy time, and then we will uh, continue um, crushing fools with Dark World. That sounds like a good plan. All right. So, can you show the deck list? Uh, the deck list should be on Discord. Let me check if it's there. Uh, let me see if the mods did a good job. No, they did not. Mods. <laughs> The decklist is supposed to be on uh, Discord, but it's fine. I can show you. Hold up. Up. <laughs> I'll do it myself. Hold up. Let me take a screenshot. And throw it onto Discord. Uh, Dark World. 25th of July. You know what, Skrelp? I will still post it myself. And I will delete yours. <laughs> Skrelp was faster, but we don't talk about that. Skrelp was faster, but we don't talk about it. There's no, uh, there's no indication or what any or, or anything about that on. Uh, on the Discord now. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have received a submission for React Andy today, which I felt like sounded interesting. So we're going to watch it on the break. It is also not very long. So I guess we could, uh, maybe we can do another one after. But as always, people keep posting videos on my Discord for me to react to on the lunch break, and this one sparked my interest this morning, so we're doing this one. It is called Yu-Gi-Oh! Players Don't Understand the New Players, which 
I feel like that's a very current topic because of like the whole discussion from last week, the entire like shareholder, the shareholder drama and everything where like people were like, yeah, new players have a hard time in this game and new players often don't stick around. So let's see if this is something in the in in the vein of like that. So uh, it's doing pretty well, honestly. It's like a relatively small channel, but it's still got seven thousand views. So I'm I'm assuming it's a it's a solid video. So let's go. Yu-Gi-Oh players don't understand new players. Here is what we see. During your main phase, you can send a zombie monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard. And if this card is banished, you can banish a zombie in your graveyard to special this card, but put it on the bottom of the deck when it leaves the field. Now here is what a new player sees. That is probably accurate. Experienced players take for granted what they know about the game as easy. This game is not easy and it's for reasons that don't match the expectations of new players. New players don't care about Max C. The Earth Insect is a blight upon Master. Max C master. needs any introduction, and I don't think it is the introduction to the subject. You can master the first. Well, it's actually one turn. I probably don't trust anyone. Where is this? 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 Do you really think new players care about floodgates when they can barely understand what the game even is when they first start playing it? No, they don't. What they care about is how the heck am I supposed to memorize all the cards in my deck? When am I supposed to draw a card? When can my monster fight? What are phases? What the heck does piercing damage even mean? What does it mean to target? Why do I have to set a trap card before I can even use it? How the heck am I supposed to memorize what's in my extra deck? Why? Okay, um... I mean, I get that, but what is the what is the takeaway from it? Like, I mean, in order to play a game, you need to learn how the game works. The can I summon a monster in face of defense position? You mean to tell me I can only normal summon once, but yet people can special summon a bunch of times? Yeah, that's in the rule I book. suck at math. So why are there so many numbers in this game to keep track of? I'm supposed to keep track of attack numbers, defense numbers, levels, ranks, life points. I'm here to play a fun game of monsters fighting each other. Why the heck am I doing math? These are what? questions that pop up. What? When a new player tries to play Yu-Gi-Oh, new players don't care about card advantage the same way most of you don't care about politics happening in the Philippines. Why should a new player who is just getting into the game care whether or not Kashtir or Rice Heart is a balanced card? They don't care. They will care later on, but there is zero reason why a new player would care about something like Dimension Shifter being a fair balance card when they have no clue what a quick effect even is. I taught two players, a 35 year old and a 14 year old, how to play Yu Gi Oh! The 14 year old only cared about if she was able to play her Dark Magician deck. She didn't care if it was bad, she just wanted to play her favorite deck. Explain to a 14 year old why a Dark Magician deck is bad should not be the focus on teaching someone how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, the 35 year old I taught was so overwhelmed by the fact that every card in the Elemental Hero deck that I gave him had so much text that he just didn't want to memorize them. He really hated that there were so many combinations of Elemental Hero fusions that he just ignored them completely when we did practice games. He was a lot more comfortable learning the game once I limited his main deck size. Okay, but then maybe you shouldn't give them a hero deck as a way to learn the game. I mean, like, okay, yes, sure. Um, there are decks in Yu-Gi-Oh! that are easier than other decks, and there are certainly decks in Yu-Gi-Oh! that are going to be, like, super, super overwhelming when you play them for the first time. But then don't use that to teach someone the fundamentals of, like, how to normal summon, right? If I want to teach someone on how normal summoning works... I'm not giving them a freaking, like, Alistair the Invoker that's like a four-step combo after they've normal summoned, right? Like, I'm giving them, like, a vanilla or, like, a, I don't know. I don't know what's, like, a super easy normal summon. Like, I don't know, like, a, a Monarch or a Shura the Blue Flame. Uh, like, you know, just, like, normal summon has some sort of effect. That's it, right? Like, you're not giving them freaking Stratos into Ferris into the full, into, like, a 10-minute combo. That's, like... That is somewhat also on the on the 
Like, that's on you if you are trying to teach someone Yu-Gi-Oh! You don't give them a hero deck for their first game that has, like, 20 different fusion monsters and, uh, and so on and so forth. Like, yes, Yu-Gi-Oh! is very complex, but that means you have to play, like, step by step. You have to learn step by step. You can't learn everything in 10 minutes. So, like, don't try to teach them fusion mechanics in the first game and so on and so forth. ...to 30 and limited his extra deck size from 15 to 3. Am I teaching them how to be good at Yu-Gi-Oh? No. The priority shouldn't be to have new players be good at Yu-Gi-Oh. The priority should be to help new players take small steps so they can become good at a later date. I mean, yeah, but no one is expecting a new player to be good immediately, right? No one, no one ever said that. There is so much information out there with thousands of cards to learn, with some cards having high price tags to buy. A new player has the hurdle of learning the basics, which takes a lot of time to understand. After that, after they learn the basics, they have to independently do research where they have to search through the hundreds of thousands of videos out there, many people teaching them how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Not enough content creators make content that is understandable for a new player to grasp. Though that is something I can agree with because I have thought about doing that. Um, it, it, it is, this is a good point because like most of the content creation that is happening, at least the one that I'm aware of, the one that I'm aware of, and this might be completely me being in my competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! bubble. I don't know if there is a lot of content for completely new players, right? Because I was thinking about doing that, like, even from, like, the, the basics. Like, creating a playlist of, like, how to, how to play the game, right? And, like, make a, make, a, make a playlist of, like, how to Pendulum Summon, how to Fusion Summon, how to Synchro Summon, all these kind of things. And then, like... Uh, that would be like the super basics and then on then if we finish that we could go on to like the next level of like How do you get better at Yu-Gi-Oh? Now that, now that you've learned everything like uh, You know, how do you actually build a good deck? How do you tell what's like a good card and whatnot? I have all these ideas in my head It's just it takes a lot of time because if I do something like that it would I want it to be properly done, right? I want it. I want it to be something that I can look back in like a couple years and be like, yeah, this was a good introduction to, to Yu-Gi-Oh! So it's, it's been something that I've been starting to work on, but uh, I can definitely see this point where like people that like, I'm sure people that look for just like Yu-Gi-Oh! content on YouTube, like you've never watched Yu-Gi-Oh! content before and you just look for Yu-Gi-Oh! on YouTube. I'm sure most of the stuff that you're being met with is um, already too high level to even get into the game. Those same oh, yeah. players who complain about Yu-Gi-Oh! on the Steam reviews are the same people we need to do better at at communicating with. This is the worst card game I've ever played. I'm immeasurably disgusted by the infinite combos that guarantee the win each and every time. They only guarantee the win because you're on a bad deck. See, look at all these zeros! Oh, we're getting into the, the, the fucking thick of it, chat. While I applaud that there are plenty of content creators who have made a concerted effort into getting people into the game, content creators need to do better in adjusting their language to help new players understand the game. Konami has done a great job in teaching players. Those really boring solo missions on Master Duels that feel like a chore to pass? Yeah, that is what new players need in real life. Stores and players, if they really want this game to succeed and do better, need to take the extra initiative in teaching players how to play and what to expect if they ever get into Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay, the... Um... The, the Master Duel uh, solo modes, I don't agree with that take. I think those are those teach you nothing about real Yu-Gi-Oh! Except for the very, very basics. Those do nothing. Uh, it's basically just a practical example for reading the rulebook, pretty much. Right? Like, you don't really learn anything about real Yu-Gi-Oh! in there. Like, if you just read the rulebook, if you really care about learning the game, if you read the, the, the rulebook... The solo modes will teach you nothing new. Into Yu Gi Oh! So then, do all of these have a warrior that's in here that requires me to summon that one first and then a spell card to be able to get these monsters out on the uh, field? What is this called? You don't like Destiny? I gotta choose one. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be too complicated, yeah. dude. I'm like, I literally got lost. I was like, God. And if it was just simplified yeah. that way, then I wouldn't have as many problems. See, so now I just gotta... Bro, this deck does not look like the appropriate deck to teach someone Yu-Gi-Oh. I will give you that. Remember who they are. 
my attack the, is 1400 or you're going no you're oh, not in defense yes so it's 1200 so you still don't yeah so then the difference comes back to me so only when you're looking at the yeah, attacks, only the defense, yeah. okay that's not a good example for it being too hard because that is literally easy that's interesting see that was the part i was confused by i understand okay this, oh that, that was it see, that was i understand uh I understand that, like, they were overwhelmed by fusions, but you being like, hey, the difference between the attack and defense is the damage you take. Um, I feel like we can expect that from some from people. <laughs> I feel like that is something we can uh, expect people to understand. <laughs> you know, like, a monster is in attack position, and then its attack points are applied. A monster is in defense position, then its defense points are applied. And the damage is the difference between the two. Um, Uh, if you don't get that, then maybe Yu-Gi-Oh isn't for you at, at this point. But I will say, some of those points are legit in a, in a sense that... Um, I mean, it's just, it just goes to show that how, how complex Yu-Gi-Oh is, right? And yes, the statement, the statement that Yu-Gi-Oh is a very complex game and therefore it is very hard to learn because there's, it's very overwhelming at the beginning. I can, definitely, I can definitely get behind that, but I feel like no one ever, um, no one doubted that, right? No one was like, no, Yu-Gi-Oh is easy to learn. I've never heard anyone say that. Like I've no, I've never, I've never have I ever heard anyone say Yu-Gi-Oh is super easy to learn to play competitively. No one has ever said that. So I don't know why you're like making that point when everyone already agrees on that. Unless, um, unless the the whole point of the video is just saying how like there needs to be more content specifically catered towards very very new players in which case that could be true that could be true i don't know i don't know if it is but that could be true right um but yeah lithium testina video you want to watch the lithium testina video i mean okay i'm down yo what's up guys welcome back that was a good one that was a good one i want that again Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to some new Testina cards. For the TCG, let's take a look, right? This is a current tech list and we, you know, post sneak peek from past weekends. So I think, you know, most people are... Okay, so what have we done? This is Testina with Manadium and Revolution Synchron. Now, what the hell is Tistina doing here? Why is Tistina here? But all right, Looking for enlighten me. Decklist. So this is another one I've actually uh, st stumbled upon. On. And um, the reason why it's... Um, there is a good mixture between this, you know, the new archetype and uh, Manadium is this... There's a few reasons. First of all, this one. So, um, you know, the level three has the capability to uh, destroy a phase down, you know, a set card you control to search something, right? One of your uh, Testina cards. Most of it well, depends, <laughs> right? Depends on the situation, but you know, you can basically search your Visa, entire deck for the Testina Star cards you Frost. need. And as, as you know, if you destroy like one of your tuners, you can special summon the, you know, the same copy from the deck. Uh, keep in mind, this one, at least the, the field spell, the Manadium field spell doesn't work with your level three because the monster needs to be destroyed phase up, or at least while it's phase up on the field. Just a small uh, detail, I guess, but could be important. So why the reason, um, or at least why is the deck called Third Planet Destina? Um, as you saw in the main deck, uh, the, the, and that's the second reason why I would highly recommend running this deck is um, is uh, the planets. The you know. Oh, you would highly recommend it. Okay, I see. Lampy, thank you for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. Three planets here in the main deck. Welcome for, everybody. Uh, Scareclaw. One We're watching for... Lithium Cope. One of my favorite activities on my lunch break is watching Lithium cope over uh, different combo piles. Or tier elements, right? To search out basically... Where we just watch the video and we never talk about what would have happened if we had not won the, the dice roll. Or Visa Starfrost. And, of course, the best field spell for this particular archetype being the Manadium field spell. And, of course, there is also the field spell for... <laughs> for field spells. For uh, Destina as well. This one... 
Um, a one or two off, maybe a two off to potentially if you're going first, you could potentially afford that if your opponent is able to break your board to have another copy in your main deck. Now, what did Tistina really add to this? Because the demigod is not live, right? Because it, you don't have the other one. Do not add. Okay, so sorry, sorry, sorry. Previously, sorry. previously, I said sorry. that um, Destina is, a, is you know definitely a going second deck. Uh, you know because you want to capitalize on using the field spell. If your opponent has like three or more phase up cards, you can get out you know your big one of the big boss monsters, the light. What is it? Big crystal to the field, and you know depending Yo, on your triple hand, field spell establish hand. your board. But uh, the thing is, is that that continuous spell gives you an extra normal summon. So as you saw, um, establishing your board, right, making sure that you could eventually get up one omni negation depending on your hand. Okay, your life combos, twin your sprite. You can go for that Are double line this? of uh, what is it? Your uh, big crystal, the one that you special summon from the field spell, or search. Okay, and, okay, uh, hold up. If we're beating red carrot twins plus a back row plus ash. So All right. extra normal summon for that. That probably means our opponent is misplaying a lot. But um we'll see. It's, and um you know, the older level All 10. Right. Did I say level 8? Ash level Pearl Rhino. Okay. Understandable. So anyway. Carrot use the okay, no, that that's fine. Uh because I was like, why would you use carrot? It's negated, but they are using it to get the life twin into the graveyard. Okay. Uh, go over the field spell. And then on res, do we immediately bring back? Actually forcing out a couple yes. of interruptions from my opponent. All right. Um, yeah, we saw that one coming, but as you know... Oh, wait, no, 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 not all right. Oh. Oh, the Destina field spell does trigger when it's like destroyed. And now it's a goner for the opponent. Again, when, you know, Crystal God Destina is also destroyed, it will get its effect either way. So put all phase up monsters from your opponent face down and then destroy or send all cards from your opponent that are phase up to the graveyard. So again, fantastic. So, you know, with all of those Destina cards... I would highly recommend you to play this deck, and I would also highly recommend your opponent to negate and destroy your field spell to trigger its effect in the graveyard. I was able to you know, plow through those interruptions. Uh, another interruption being um, Imperm, right? And here again, one of the best cards in the deck being Ancient Fairy Dragon to search the field spell you need. Because again, you're running four different field spells. Plus, you could also capitalize on your opponent's field spell. So again, pop their field spell to search the field spell you need. Um, and of course, let's not forget, as you know, like Ancient Fairy Dragon could potentially get like a low level monster from your hand to the field to potentially keep extending. So again, the same lines as we know from Manadium. Um, yeah, even though after all of those interruptions, so still end on Epo, pop the set could end on Epo, but again, this should be more than enough to attack for a game. So really cool, like these interactions with, you know, the standard Manadium decklist we know featuring the new uh, Tistina cards. The thing is that we get... Um... <laughs> I mean... No, you know what? And we no. can expect an Age of Overlord, I think, our no. next uh, TCG set is... We can expect more Testina cards, right? So it depends, right? If we probably not... I mean, I'm not so sure how many new cards we would get. Five, six, maybe? I don't know. But uh, it might be a standalone deck. So it is what it is. Okay, this is another one. Uh, another new card for us TCG players being Revolution Synchron. Also has access or a place in this deck simply because any level four... Does anyone know of a Discord for new Yu-Gi-Oh players? Uh, that's a good question. I was going to say you can join my Discord anytime. I'm sure people are happy to help you, but it's not really... I, I it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd not be correct to say they are all, uh, you know... The, designated at new players uh there i don't know if there is one if anyone knows uh feel free to to tell me or let them know on field that includes your manadium level four strattles that includes the hound right for testina which is you know very easy searchable um with that and revolution synchron that's an ancient fairy dragon plus as you know like the standard combo for a potential level eight synchro play after that so that's either crystal wing for monster negation for nibiru i've been seeing to be fair even though if it's not a, a discord specifically for new players i have seen a lot of people ask very beginner questions in my discord and people have usually been very kind and very like explaining and, and thoughtful uh, i could make a channel in my discord that's maybe something we can do hold up we can make a new player questions channel or something that i don't mind that hold up 
uh, new player questions. I have done so right now. So now there is now my now my Discord is a new player Discord. There you go. Or the Visa Star Frost level Loggers. eight synchro to potentially search and extend depending on you know what card uh, which card you need. The beautiful part of the Testina cards is that they uh, kind of flood the field every turn. You know, if you have like a, a big level, um, uh, high level Testina monster on your side of the field, they can just reborn a spell. Okay. How do I penduluim Simon? <laughs> I'll allow it. I'll allow it because I laughed. Skrelp, I'll allow it. Also, I can never ban Skrelp because my life depends on Skrelp. So I literally, I even if I would like to punish Skrelp, I have, I do not have the ability. Uh, Skrelp is like probably the only, the only person in my Discord that can do whatever the fuck they want because uh, I have no power over Skrelp because I need Skrelp. So. Um, but anyone else, please, uh, please um, take the channel seriously, okay? <laughs> it's it's fine. Special summon themselves from the graveyard, <laughs> basically Link Father, Synchro Father, um, whatever, and they can special summon themselves from the hand as well. So kind of ridiculous. So again, depends on um, the second wave. It might be a meta contender. Um, yeah, just not that hard here in this situation. Again, Labyrinth going second. Okay, you know, they had like the, the furniture cards. Can't remember which one set big welcome, I think. But as you know, like this deck and just pop stuff going first with, you know, stuff like uh, Baron, for example. Uh, and again, having my preferred setup of both uh, gods, both high level Distinas on field. The fact that the discontinuous uh, spell gives you the extra normal summon definitely helps you out with getting out that first turn crystal god to, you know, turn on the other one to potentially Book of Moon your opponent's monsters, right? Very similar to Conductor, I guess. I wonder... Okay, now I'm actually... I, I was... I was... I tried really hard to just not take the video seriously and, like, analyze something that is so clearly just clickbait. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but, like... I've been baited. It's like, this is just vanadium, but like, you've made it worse to uh, show off Testina cards, which I respect it. I respect it. I think it's fun, but I can't help but wonder why are we not just playing vanadium? <laughs> so, get, get out another bear on this. Should be more than enough, right? The free reborn for Hound, yeah, more than enough to attack for me. <laughs> Is Raphael Nevin's new shop closer to you than your locals? It okay. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know if you're baiting or not, because I've been I've been saying how far my locals is from me, but like it's in another country. It, my okay. The nearest locals to me is like far away, but Raphael's card shop is in the Netherlands, which is which is in a different country. So no, it's not closer. <laughs> it's, it is not closer than my nearest locals. Is not going all the way to the Netherlands for Raphael's uh, store. <laughs> okay. Anyways, back to back to business, right? Back to business. Do we work on this deck a little bit? To be fair, other country in West Germany is like five nations in a 20 mile. Okay, yeah, fair. <laughs> uh, we have... No, this deck is perfect. I've decided that it's perfect. I've decided that it's perfect. We've won five in a row, so... Play beginning of the end? Beginning of the end is cool. Um, but we might not consistently get to it. It contributes to Bricks as well. Oh no, Rika sleeves and we go second. Rika sleeves and we go second. Are there an actual role player?
No, that's Labyrinth, probably. Uh, if I go Thunderbird and I miss Mothman, the odds not. It's just we, we take the one in three of sniping Mothman. Max, see me, I dare you. Okay, we don't. Uh, this one. Mm, Mothman again before we bounce. Easy snipe. Can I make a new player helper role for the Discord and ask for volunteers? Uh, yeah, sure. That sounds like a fine idea. Are you a mod? Oh yeah, you are. I, I, ignore God. Of course, yeah, I forgot. I, it's because you have the same color at the as your name than Quantal. I thought it was Quantal asking. Mm. See, I even remember you guys' name colors. That's how that's how we get in here. Sometimes I even look at you by just looking at the color. I don't even read who's messaging. I still know. That's how we get. Mm. Mm. It's just a Dugaris angle, maybe? Surely you don't let Dugaris resolve. Dark World, by the way. If you are very, very annoyed by Labyrinth, Dark World is pretty good against Labyrinth. Ah. Uh, no, Genta. Uh, I'm probably discarding Rainbow. We could go Ceruli, but like... Ceruli for... What is Rainbow again? Level 4 or lower Dark World from your deck. That's not worth it. Ooh, Bigfoot. Wait, no, Cerulea under skill drain doesn't work anyways. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot. Her. The thing about skill drain against uh, Dark World is you just put a lot of big, beefy dudes out there. Is what you do. Uh, do I special rainbow right now? Yeah. Look how annoying the skill drain is for me. It's so annoying. Honestly, I could have even let it there. I could have just popped the back rows, honestly. I, I didn't need to do this, but... I genuinely should have probably popped this set. But, okay. Well, I did not. I guess it's fine just in case I happen to discard Ceruli now. Uh, let's start with uh, Mothman. See, I know what I'm doing, chat. I know what I'm doing. Calm down.
Dogmatica Punishment. Now. Wh why? Hmm. It's this card, Rainbow. Mm, chaining one archives, chaining two rainbow. Oh, they want to pop the archives. I see, I see, I see. That does make some sense. Archives is pretty powerful. That is the most outrageously stupid thing I've seen. But actually, it's not the most stupid, but it's up there. You were saying <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> oh no, my grappa is gone. Not my grappa. No. Like it's, it is kind of ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, man. They should have never confronted me with this much power, dude. They should have never confronted me with this much power. That was a mistake. This is Nesh's favorite song. He loops it while playing chess. It's a pretty good song. I like it. It can play through everything but shifter droll. I'd argue something like, I mean, oh, oh, oh no, we might have met our match. Oh no, that's it, that's it. Unless they play uh, Dark World Dealings, maybe. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine Dark World Dealings or card destruction. I think we, but we, I think we might have met our master right now. I think we may have met our master. This might be the end. This might be the end of our win streak. The win streak probably ends at 6. I'm going to be honest with you. It probably ends at 6. <laughs> Not playing Maxi yourself is kind of crazy. I, I unironically don't think Maxi is very good in Dark World. Because you just like... Like you see, you draw your entire deck. And you're just going to draw into all your Maxis when you, pull, when you go off. It's not that good. It's only good going second. Going second, you want to have a maxi so your opponent can't go crazy. But, like, if you don't open maxi going second, you start playing into your opponent's board. You're just drawing into maxis and you're just, like, you don't, you, you hate that, you know? Uh, They discarded Graffa for that. Okay. And now they're discarding Brow. Card destruction me! Come on! Do it, coward! Why are you... Why do you keep popping the graphas? Huh? Okay, I thought... I thought it was over for a second. Snipe Bigfoot! No! Uh, Luke Tyler, thank you for the raid. Appreciate that. Welcome, everybody. We are playing the very interactive and very exciting Dark World Mirror match. Oh, Mothman! Snipe Mothman! No! How? Dude, 
Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Josh, how are you so bad at sniping dangerous? God damn it. Okay, I'm not bad at sniping dangerous. Remember earlier when I had 15 cards in hand and I sniped my own danger? I'm I'm a pro at that. Discard Mothman. Do it. Use it. Discard Mothman. No, come on, coward. Oh, do you play... Do you play Coach King? Come on, put me in coach. Do it. I want you to Coach King me. I want to suffer. Oh my god, please. Yes! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, I will pop the back row. Because they could protect with Muckraker if I didn't. Give me that. It is mine. <laughs> the set was Dark World Dealings. I'm kind of sad about that. <laughs> Yo, we are the Dark World Master. The it does not end right here. <laughs> it does not end right here. <laughs> uh, we just never go first. How do we do it? Oh, that's a thick deck. How many is that? 60? Oh, man. It's 60 cards. Easy clap. <laughs> Eight. Someone bricked. <laughs> Someone bricked. I can't go first, though. Okay. Stuck in draw phase. Main phase one. Let's go. Oh, yeah. We're playing Yu Gi Oh! Oh, yeah. Labyrinth. Okay. Ooh. That's not Labyrinth. Uh oh. That's not Labyrinth. Go back. Go back. You're going to have to discard a lot, brother. Oh, no, that's FTK. Oh, that's FTK. Uh, no, uh, come on. How are you picking trap tricks? You just desired. There's no way. Each player. What is that? Each player chooses a card from their deck. Then each player combines it with four additional random cards chosen from their deck by their opponent. Then randomly selects one of those five cards to reveal and add to their hand. Shuffle the rest. Huh? What do I do? I just select a card, right? I don't know. Card destruction. Okay. <laughs> I 
I mean, they get to choose from our hand, so yeah. Am I dead or not? Like, what? Oh no, they discarded some mochi. That means I'm dead, right? This is what ends it? This is what ends the win streak? Uh, the player who has more cards of the declared type. Declare an extra deck monster. What did they... Okay. okay. Come on, Desire, save me. No, how did they not banish both gift cards? Oh, man. This is the cringest thing ever. How is this how it ends? Why are you queuing into Master 1 with this? What's the point of playing Solitaire? <sighs> Look at this. God damn. Ooh, this end is a risky business. Okay, Jackalope, do your thing. Not that thing! Uh, the other thing! They have more. Ooh, yes, do that thing! All right. All right. Well, I mean, it turns off like Imperm if they play that, but that's annoying. Oh, the Mothman with the Bro Snipe. Okay. Oh, I need more discard fodder. Come on. Give me a Genta. Ah, the Royal Genta, Chef's Kiss. The Royal Genta knows what's going on. Wait, did I say French Kiss? I meant Chef's Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this. Hmm. 
<laughs> That's not what I meant. So Graffa is mandatory, which I'm a little bit annoyed by. Um, I'll do snow first. I don't want to pop this Magnamut. I want to be safe from Imperms. Uh... Wait a minute, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to do it at some point. I could take Ceruli and give them Ceruli. We do need to draw more. MORE! Um... No. Lucent, summon... Big... Jackalope. Big Jackalope! Okay. <laughs> they know what's happening. They know exactly what's happening. You max eat the wrong deck, my friend. <laughs> this deck is great. <laughs> this deck throws me back to uh, Danger FTK. Which, believe it or not, is a fun throwback for me. It is a fun throwback for me. Come on, Max, see me. Do it. It's more fun that way for both of us. Hey! Uh oh. All because of freaking Thunderbird being a little bitch, dude. Why is... Why can't you just do what you were supposed to do once, Thunderbird? Why? Okay, never mind. It's Labyrinth. We can still win. Here's how Bernie can still win. They had Ash too. They're just throwing Ash away like it's nothing. They will simply not... They will simply not hand loop us, and we will draw a danger, and we will pop off. They will hand loop us. I lied. We will lose. We have lost. We abs We have lost. Yes, we have lost. We have. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm mad at Thunderbird. All right, back to known territory. I honestly, we may have lost that because the deck might have just been like, the deck is not very used to going first, right? The deck was just a little shy when we went first, right? The deck does not know how to do that. Going second is where it's at, chat. That's where it's at. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> what? Minerva? Share it? <laughs> both of those Minerva milled the tier limit card. They both milled one each. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, there's a snow. Oh my god. You're about to get hand looped? Wait, what does this do? They milled a halfness, that's it. What, what? What's the hand? Oh, there's Jet Synchron, I guess? They don't have King of the Swamp. They can't make Grapha with it. Ooh. Oh. They trish you multiple times? Really? Now, don't do that. Don't do that, my friend. Don't trish me multiple times. Why would you Minerva for Kelbeck and Wolf? That's not a reasonable thing to do. Oh my god, they milled another Wolf with the Kelbeck. I have two Graphas in the graveyard now. No, if you make Bujin Kagutsuchi with these two, I am about to lose my mind. Dark. Okay, that's not nice. That's stealing. That is stealing. And now what? Oh, oh, oh my. But how do they do it again? Where's the tuner come from? Where? Oh no. Oh no, I think what's I think I see what's happening. Oh no, they drew. I thought they were gonna revive like Lumina or some shit. Yeah, there's Lumina in the grave. I thought they were gonna revive Lumina and bring back like the this thing, because this is a tuner.
Don't tell me Selene is not once per turn. Okay, it is once per turn. Thank you. Don't tell me you're Risha. You can do it again? Wait, no, it's not once per turn. It's not once per turn. I thought it was because of the, the check mark. Wait, you're out of cards in the deck. Oh, you have a shuffler, okay. Oh wait, no, Dugaris. They can't they cannot deck out, right? Card destruction one time. Card destruction me! Deck! Or Mothman. No! Come on! Why is the world so cruel? Why is the world so cruel? <sighs> ah. Ah. I'm in hell. I'm literally in hell. What is this? Did you just add double Medionis? Oh my. Drytron, Andy stood. This is the thing, right? When you're playing Drytron, I think the only two things they can do is surrender themselves or wait for the opponent to surrender when the opponent doesn't have a hand trap. When you actually let the Drytron duelist play, they have no idea what's like beyond step one. They, they do step one and then they crumble after. They have no idea what they're supposed to do. Like they will summon, they will like alpha tribute Zeta. And then in the next moment, like, opponent doesn't have a hand trap, doesn't get max seat, doesn't get ashed or anything. They're like, oh shit, I've never gotten this far, right? When opponent doesn't surrender. So it's like, I, I have no idea how I got here. I don't know what to do now. I've, I've never been here. Mill eight. Sharon. And not. Okay, she milled Sharon, but nothing else really. I mean, retribution, but no target.
Saroni. Oh my god. Okay, no. That. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Your first Dark World game is up on our Master Duel? Wait, show me that. Link me that. That's funny. They are fusion locked and still infuriating because this one sends branded fusion now and they milled retribution. But yes, they are fusion locked, so yeah. We'll see. This is one of the instances where maybe it's possible to play through the field. We'll see. Do you think Nadir Servant in TCG branded is Cope? Uh, probably. I don't think it's terrible. I don't think it's terrible, but it's also not, like, amazing or anything. Uh, Wattrick55, thank you for the four months. Welcome back. Appreciate the subscription. Thank you for bling bringing us closer to that very elusive 1,500 subscribers. I don't think we've ever been there. Appreciate you for getting us closer. Uh, they sent Cartesia to Grave. Activate Albion. Uh, okay. Have you had the chance to try Trap Tricks and Master Duel yet? Uh, no, because for some reason that deck costs like a billion ultra rare CP. So no, I haven't. It's like, Sarah is an ultra, Rafflesia is an ultra, Elomeris is an ultra. Like, you have to pay so much waifu tax for that deck, I just don't want to be bothered. I just don't want to. Okay, didn't send Albion for the Lubel. I, very interesting stuff that's happening. Sends opening with Serenir. Okay. Someone does not want to get Raigekid. And that someone is my opponent. Branded Beast. You've played for like five minutes. You've activated a billion cards. And so far, the only interruption you have is Branded Beast. You know. And one set card. Insane. I mean, yeah, okay, Grand Guignol can turn into quick uh, Proskinian or uh, the other thingy, but. Ooh, Genta. Foggers. Uh, we do have to get rid of the Branded Beast first before we can Genta, before we can use the gate. Uh, we shall begin with Thunderbird. No narc, th no narking this time, Thunderbird. Do not narc on me. That's kind of, it's kind of narking. I needed that. Oh, come on. 
You're boring, dude. You're a boring individual. I let you play. I let you play your entire turn without doing anything cringe. You, you, it's not my fault that you didn't end on anything. Don't be that guy. Oh, and you discard a shuffler. You are a cringe individual. Pity pity lost. Fringe game. <laughs> what? Hey, was I sniped? Look at their username. You can't yet. You'll see in a second. Okay, no, I'm sitting upright for this one. We can't lose this. We can't lose this. There's no way we can... We cannot lose this. For... Okay. I don't know who that is. Someone in chat is that. I know some of y'all is that. I, I know it's one of y'all. I know it's one of y'all. And I, I will defeat you. <laughs> Give me your Melfi caddy, it is mine now. <laughs> it is my Melfi caddy. Give it back.
We will not lose. Uh, archives. Mm. Do I sell Yuja or just archives? I think it's sorry, Yuja. Uh, this goes back, this goes back, and honestly, maybe it's just archives and we just card destruction. Yeah. They could have drawn into Maxi here, but it's fine. Uh, let's get Lucent. Let's get Archives. Or this. This. Mm. Effects are you, John? Imperm Saryuja. That's interesting because I can still normal summon you, fool. Who's the noob now? Um, Chupacabra. Wait, from hand? Oh, my graph is banished. Okay, I thought it was from field it would send to grave, but it's fine. Uh, this. Just get another one.
<laughs> I am very focused because we cannot afford to lose this game. It's for our honor, chat. You are the noob. You are the noob. It's not me. You're the noob. <laughs> That's probably the most important game. That was probably the most important game I have ever played on Master Duel. Not even close. <laughs> Very important win there. Crucial. <laughs> Ooh, that's a that's a hand. That's a hand right there. Uh Do we just use the next Genta as well? Because I don't really want to draw into the game. Let's do that. <laughs> Josh equals noob equals noob. Exactly. Oh, no Maxi. Okay. It's been a while since we've decked someone out. It's been a while since we've decked someone out. I'm kind of missing that feeling. Kind of cringe that we haven't done that in a while. All right, Bigfoot, do your thing. Thank you for doing your thing, Bigfoot. Very well done. Boom. Ooh. It's not Nib. Right? Because we... There, yeah, we haven't done. Okay. Was that Kelbeck? I feel like it was Kelbeck, maybe. Haveness, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Um, mm. all right, it's our turn. It's our turn. Fine. Uh, that's kind of cringe. But it's not too bad, I think. Probably fine. Like, it makes Kid Kalos, and then what? Kid Kalos, and then what? Oh my god, the Royal Kid Kalos laughing at me, and I don't have it. I've crafted, at this point, I've crafted, I, I, I seriously have probably crafted like 50 Kid Kaloses, or 100. Still don't have it. Uh, I don't want to get Mothman. Let's do this. Ninety-nine percent of gamblers quit right before they craft the royal kit. That's what I've been thinking too. That's what I've been thinking. Take 
They, I think they go for a Kaleido Heart, which is something that is not easy to out, but I can out it. Like, depending on where they put it, I can Akashic it. Uh, or I can, you know, I can Unicorn it. We'll see. It's fine. Yeah, also, what about that one time where I crafted three Kid Colossus at the same time and all three were glossy? What about that time? Why does no one ever talk about that? Uh, Bigfoot. We're never done. We are never done. Shuffler, no problem. I don't think. Shouldn't be. Mm, archives. Pitch rainbow. One archives. Two rainbow. They still have responses? Nothing in the graveyard. This deals too? It could still be Kelbeck, yeah. <laughs> Look how we still have six cards in that. I love this deck. This is the best day. This is the best day ever. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Boom. Skald red. This goes back, this goes back, and a Nessie 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 goes back. Uh, no. We want to use this from hand and this from hand. Akito! Four. Mm-mm. 
they still have more! I'm not gonna activate Mothman against this deck. But I will summon Giant Trainer. You better believe. Tag me in, coach! Um, talents wonderful. Uh, one snow can go. Show me that hand. Show me that hand. Ha <laughs> ha. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> this deck is so fun, dude. Are you gonna do a vlog of your trip to Japan? Probably not. I'm not very good at vlogging. I, I'm gonna be alone, so I don't even have someone to hold the camera. And I also want to kind of focus on, like, worlds and stuff and not having to film footage. <laughs> I can do it. Yeah, I still... I, I mean, I, I could probably find someone, but I kind of don't want... Well, How do people get rewarded for shit like this? How do people play goddess with the third eye and not get heavily punished for it? How do you mill like that? <sighs> Come on, just mill shit one time so that I can actually win the game. Oh my god. Both Shufflers and Kelbeck. I'm gonna be honest with you, by the way, if they activate Kelbeck here is completely incorrect because you already have everything. Like, what the hell are you gonna mill? They don't care. Pe they just people don't care. Yeah, congrats. Like I literally milled better than you did cuz everything's been used already. Like, I milled this with a graveyard effect, this one can come back from the graveyard, and Genta, I can banish and get it, like, if I draw gates. So, like, this is literally worse than if you had just not activated it. The button was shiny, though. I'll give you that. The button was shiny. Shiny AF, even. Uh, I'm gonna activate this and target Genta. See, let's see if they let me do it. Probably not since they have two shufflers, but it'd be funny if they did. not 
They've just outed one of the shufflers for me. That's very nice. That was very nice of them. Yeah, Mudora has been outed. Unfortunately, because they were so damn lucky, they already have both shufflers, which are both limited. It's kind of infuriating, but it is what it is. It is what it is. All right. They even left this in the graveyard, by the way. Which has another graveyard effect next turn. Okay. This is frustrating. That is supposed to be in my deck, not in yours. Wait, why are you not making Barone? Oh, man. The trap is meta noise, right? Cause yeah, the trap is meta noise. Um What is the link between Zeus and IP? Uh, that is Akashic Magician. This one. I think we should take out Ceruli, by the way. We haven't really been using it at all. Except for one time, I think. Ceruli can probably go. Ooh, Talents is powerful. Uh, we kind of need our dangers, but we also kind of want to resolve snow. Not easy. Lucent? I'm not talking about Lucent. I'm talking about Ceruli. Oh, do you play Entis? That'd be annoying right now. I do not wish to get Entis. I oh, oh my god, dude. I just cannot stand Tier Limit anymore. I just cannot. Like, it's just... The deck was fine for like a month, but bro, it's it's been a year, Konami. It's been a year. And I'm only talking about this one game. It's been a year.
I don't know why I set talents first <laughs> for the catalyzer, but. Oh, Grapha the catalyzer. Okay. What's in hand then? The hand must be insane then. Huh? Um. What do I have here? A session? Take Grapha? I can take Grapha and then negate Meta Noise. This Grappa was supposed to be in my deck anyways. It was supposed to be in my deck anyways. Uh, sure. I can flip it. I mean, you get a fusion, but I I can still flip it. We can win this, Bat. We can win this, chat. We can actually win this, believe it or not. The scream attack drop is a problem. They will make uh, Dragostapelia here. But now, okay, now they have Drago Stapelia and Rule Kalos as their last two negate or interruptions. Do some work, Nessie. Do some work. Discard Snow. Uh, Rule Kalos effect. If I negate, they Preda Plant. That way I force everything. Yep. We play Zeus. We do play Zeus. And they have already used Kaleido Art now. We could Zeus this if we can get to it. Now we have baited everything. We can now try to play the game. Let's see. They have Rhino Hard follow up, which is a problem, but we'll see. Uh, activate Ascension. Uh, Genta. Ooh, Grappa top deck is, is insane, I think. Hold up. Uh, uh, if I Ascension... If I Ascension, discard Grappa, fuse with the field... Up rule close, it comes back, it can't come back again. But then I think it's just Muckraker. Oh, we can't pop rule close, right? Uh, snow.
Let's hop the elf then. Now I can't Zeus anymore because I used uh, Muckraker, but it's fine. I think we can out this board. I think we can out this board. Timer is an issue. This like this Thunderbird has to do some work. Thank you, Thunderbird. Wait. Oh, Muckraker is not only extra deck. That's a problem. Oh, I did not know that. I did not know that. I should not have made Muckraker. Oh, that's so annoying. We actually could have won this. We would have won this. Now I don't think we can. Oh, I messed this up. This is so annoying. Oh, that's so annoying. Uh, my bad. My bad. That one's on me. That one is on me, but we could have won that. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay, well. That happens. <laughs> could you play a slash draw version? Uh, I mean, you could try. I don't know what the purpose would be, but... You probably it's probably it probably would work. Uh but yeah, thank you for the nine months. Appreciate the support. Yeah, I kinda just forgot about the muckraker. We should have just gone with the Zeus plan. We should have just gone oh, they are playing 60 cards. This smells like a surrender. I'm not gonna lie, this kind of smells like a surrender if they, uh, don't have any hand traps. Ooh, Ashing Genta. Uh, Ashing Snow. That's good for them. That is good for them. But we just can't be stopped. We are just completely insane. <laughs> uh, we are out of discards, though. Holy shit. Wait, we are out of discards. Uh, and we also have no level four. It's kind of annoying... I guess I normal summon and make Saryuja. I don't want to lock myself yet. I don't want to lock myself yet. Come on, dude. 60 cards, Ash Imperm? What is that? Sixty cards draws Ash Imperm. Well that does end the turn. That does just end the turn. That's what you get. 
That's what you get! Hold by on brow? Oh, you're gonna regret that, unless you have two. Bro, can I draw Ash Imperm called by in 60 cards? Like, I don't even draw those cards in 40 as consistently as you do. That's crazy. You're insane. <laughs> what deck was that? What deck was that? Uh, Sato, thank you for the five months. I appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> oh man oh man I'm gonna say it I think it's close to the one more angle <laughs> we're getting close but not if the games go like that we can fit a couple more of those Well, that's a wonderful hand. Actually, it's not that good. Nah, it has dangerous. When there, where there are dangerous, there's a way, as they say. Oh, how, how do I play against two Dynamorphias in like three games? It's funny because like, uh, Rex term doesn't do shit against Dark World. It's like how Skill Drain does nothing, but even worse than that. So I don't want to activate spells, right? Is what that means. Just just play without spells. Right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> no, not Chupacabra, not yet. Oh, I forgot to take out Ceruli. I wanted to take out Ceruli. Well, I guess we'll just skip this turn, right? We don't die, do we? You don't die to Dynamorphia, do you? Surely? You could? Hmm.
Should have done Chupacabra to make Dugares. Look, uh, I discarded Chupacabra, so in hindsight, you're wrong. Ah. I mean, at this point, I just have to use spell cards. Uh, let's just see what happens. Because they can only summon two monsters. No, three. Only by the way. Crystal clear wing. Starving, whatever. That's a lot of words for a singular card name on these. I feel like they just added the cards with the most words on them to their deck. I feel like that's what they did. When a card or effect is activated, you contribute a monster on either field with a predict counter, negate the activation. All right, we don't have those. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a monster effect, negate the effect until the end of this turn. This face-up card is unaffected. When this card is fusion summon, negate the activated effects of monsters with zero attack. Okay. So you're telling me you haven't really done anything. Cool. I could have just played in main phase one then. Hmm. All right, Nessie, do your thing. Good thing you did. Give me back Chupacabra. Win condition found. Wait, no, not really. That's there's no way. We're not summoning 32 times. I lied. I lied. But I guess we try. Bro, you're such a cringe individual. That's what you are. The win condition would have been, but the thing is, we I don't think we can get there anymore. But the win condition would have been, I think, to get to um, to Grafa destroy Rex term, and then Coach King. But we can't get there anymore. No, we lost. We lost. Unfortunate. All right, one more. One more, I'll give you one more. In the meantime, this this stream already, we, we're going to play more, but I would just want to say this stream has been a blast to me. It was very fun. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for coming through. And if you are enjoying the stream, uh, make sure to follow. That would mean a lot to me. Or if you enjoy it a lot and you want to support what I'm doing, you know, then uh, consider subscribing. So on and so forth. That always helps me a ton. means a lot to me if people subscribe and support the channel.
lets me keep doing what I'm doing. All right, can we get max seed one last time? I actually do want to get max seed here. I do want to get max seed. Please max seed me. How did we draw both Gentas, but not the royal ones? The royal one. That's kind of a kind of a crime. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I'll shut up. I'll shut up. I eat ass. Thank you for the three months. Rafa and Lucent. Yeah. I am not convinced by uh, the Cerulean. We should not have put the Cerulean in this deck, I think. The Lucent was a fire idea, though. I don't. I don't remember who said that, but the Lucent is is pretty damn good. Um. We're coach kinging one last time. Mm, need to discard Rainbow for that. We are coach kinging one last time today. Boom. All right. And now, everyone, put me in coaches in chat. Wonderful. But we don't have a battle phase this turn. Isn't that just utterly unfortunate? Ah, uh, we banish the Genta. All right. And now look at this. A session, back to hand. Pitch, Ceruli. Ceruli, effect. Here. 
So Ruli activates. Pitch Grapha. Pops it. Looks at a card in the opponent's hand. It's a monster. It's mine now. It's mine now. Look at my opponent's hand. Bop. It's mine now. Mm. This Diviner can go. <laughs> and now your hand does nothing. Poggers. <laughs> we are not done. We are never done. Jobs not finished. Uh, they have nothing good for card destruction, but I kind of like that I know their hand. I'm not going to use it. I don't play Dweller, but it's going to be fine. We're going to end on Harbinger and everything. Uh, one Jack goes back, the spell can go back, and no, let's throw this back. What are we digging for at this point? Nothing. For fun. We're digging for fun. That's what we're digging for. Wonderful.
You know what's almost concerning is that they have a card destruction in hand, and I I would deck out to that probably. So I kind of need to keep one negate for that, but I think we'll be fine. I'm not gonna activate Nessie. Yeah, You know what? There is one thing we haven't done this turn. Because we're doing everything in the game. But there is one thing we haven't done. And that's normal summon. So we're going to do that. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> no, that's not enough, right? That's not enough. That's not enough. Okay, no, nah, it's not enough. Uh, special summon a Grapha, then each player discards a card. Uh, do I, is that good? They have, I mean, yeah, no, of course, that's good. They tried. They tried. <laughs> the super poly was kind of funny. <laughs> the super poly was kind of a nuts thing that just happened. I, that is a worthy end to the stream, probably. <laughs> that was a worthy attempt. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you know what's funny is I don't even have to negate it, but I will. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Chat. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I think it was very fun today. I think it was very fun today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm gonna I'm see where I can send you guys to. I'm gonna send you guys over to MBT. You go ahead and tell MBT what a great time you had today on the stream here. And I will hopefully see you all again tomorrow. Don't forget to follow if you're not followed yet. And thank you all for all the 
um subs and all the follows and all that thank you for watching hope you have a wonderful rest of your day see you tomorrow bye bye peace